Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. And we are just on the way back to Hagen Orbit with our loot from Albus Orbit so that we can start building our permanent orbital base. Or to put it more accurately, we can build a very small, uh, hand-fed little bit of just enough to get some science to happen, um, in Hagen orbit. Because for now we don't have enough scaffolding, we don't have space rail production, we don't have scaffolding production in space. We have literally uh, no surface of any kind. We don't have any rocks or anything to build on. Uh, back in Hagen Orbit. But that's fine. We will get that all done. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we are approximately 10 minutes out from Hagen Orbit at current speed, but it is going to get slower. And we're less than halfway out. Well, actually, I mean, we're probably about halfway out in terms of radius from Calidus. So, in the meantime, let's do a little design, shall we, in Editor Extensions? Uh, and we were just looking at processing units. Which are pretty easy in this mod pack. Um, we just need to decide how we want to shape it. I think we're pretty much done, actually. Uh, we were just doing the input. And if we're going to do uh, two resources in and shared belts out, which we are in this case, uh, I think what we need is something like this. How did we do it before? that about right? It looks to be about as neat as we can get it. We used the same thing at... Uh, was it iron and copper? Uh, pretty much. And, and we had four belts coming out of that, even though we're not using split belts. Uh, so that'll be fine, I think. Game to relax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Excuse me, my voice hasn't warmed up just yet. Um, we only need less than half a blue belt of advanced circuits. So, just these two outputs should be fine. Um, I think I'll use this corner here to merge them. And then we'll do some splitty splitty. Unfortunately, we can't really have this perfectly in the middle. Uh, oh wait, yes we can. Fantastic. Uh, we shouldn't need more than a red belt for all of these. Let's do underground like so. That's actually output. Uh, 
Pretty sure that could be Red Belt. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, let's see if that all works correctly. Give it some substations. Unfortunately, we need one on each side. So it's not going to be that pretty. Uh, I guess it's not that bad. And then this goes here. And we need some in the middle. We should have uh, pylons by the time we're doing wide area beacons, so that'll be fine. Nice and neat. A bit more overlap than we'd like, I guess. And then rare metals here. And advanced circuits here. And then we'll go rare metals, advanced circuits, a little bit of wire logic um, just to prevent, just to make sure that either resource can flow in at any time. 45 stacks for each. 9,000 for the red circuits. And I think the stack size is 100 for rare metals. So 4,500. Whoops. Rare metals. Fantastic. Uh, let's test. Can't really fit it over here, but that sh should be fine. Actually, yes, I can. Alright, so that looks like that's working. And now we just wait and see if the belts and inserters can keep up. Which should be pretty trivial with a build like this. Uh, let's see, we need some underground pipes. That's a beautiful fit. Won't be as good over here. Then again, we might want to move the whole thing... Uh, this is actually as far to the right as I want it to go, if we're going to build something in this side. So, I think this is fine, actually. Oh, we need some... a bit more power to go a lot faster here. Um, I see some... I was going to say I see some assemblers that are not working yet, but that's actually not correct. Fantastic. I think that was literally all of them. Um, I would speed up time, but this surface is parallel to our regular game. So I don't want to... I don't want to fast forward the main game. Well, maybe I do, as long as we don't go too long. What's our ETA? Five minutes. Okay. Uh, I think we can speed up time a bit here. Yeah, that looks to be working just fine. Don't think we already got to our destination or anything. Um, cool. I was going to say, but why are all of the processing units flowing to this side? But that's actually intentional. I want short trains to be able to pick this up. And we're just going to limit uh, this container to one train load. Uh, and push everything from here to here. And set the provide stack threshold to 80. So there has to be two train loads of... Uh, two cargo wagons of stuff before we do a pickup. So... 
as far as we're concerned, it's balanced. This will work for anything that isn't too fast uh, with the items per second. Alright, so that's our processing units. Let's just check that we named this. We did not. We also need to tell LTN what we have. Fantastic. Um, we are looking for advanced circuit. As is light, cyclomactic, Buvim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I saw you playing that game, Cyclo. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Pogchamp, Two months. Pogchamp. Pogchamp and furthermore Pogchamp. Uh, apparently the text-to-speech volume is a little higher than I thought it was there. Let me have a little peek at that real quick. Uh, there we go. That should probably sort it out. Probably. Okay. Uh, we need red circuits. Uh, yeah, I saw you playing that game, uh, that that dev was, uh, showing to people. Uh, how'd you like it? It looked like you were having fun with it. Hex or something? It's in, it's pretty early stages at the moment, but just lacks polish, I guess. It was good. Fantastic. I had a little peek at it myself, but I didn't really have the time and energy to put into it to give it a fair go. Uh, I was going to put 32k out of habit. That's actually just one train load from last playthrough, so that'll be two train loads for this one. Uh, and then 16k for our rare metals. Uh, the standard I'm going to ask for all the time is two train loads of stuff. Gives us, that gives us ample time to not run out without going too overboard, uh, trying to saturate everything. And we also need sulfuric acid. Which should be very slow. Yeah, it's incredibly slow going into blue circuits. It's just sort of a box to tick. Um, it's not really a material input as much. Not volume-wise. Okay, uh, and then we are requesting advanced circuit, rare metals, sulfuric acid, putting it into an assembly machine to make processing units is how we're going to name our station. And I think that is all done now. Let's blueprint and snap. Oh, don't snap to grid relative. This is snap to grid absolute. Old habits. Processing unit. I notice when I zoom out in the editor area, we just get the the swooshing sounds, but not the other sounds. Uh, basic processing unit. We should... Uh, I, I haven't really left room for basic beacons here. But it's probably fine. Probably. Some of these builds are rather difficult to leave room for both basic beacons and wide area beacons for upgrade. But if I'm going to have to pick one or the other, I think I'm going to leave room for the wide area beacons because we can always just... Like, this is probably overkill for a long time, um, is how it usually goes. All right, so we'll put processing units here. And we are 29 seconds out from Hagen. Perfect. Or Hagen Orbit. Let's double check we're going to Hagen Orbit. There we go. 
demo only right now. It's a neat bit of puzzle slash programming fun. Nice. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are down to 67% of our free Ion Stream. Um, we have a good few trips left in our... In our Grand Theft Spaceship. But it is running out. Alright, I think we will put our initial build over this way. And yes, I do not have life support. Uh, I sort of kind of a little bit accidentally kind of left it on... I was going to say Nervous, but it's actually Hagen. Hagen is our home base now. Um, do we have... This is going to be very handy up here. Uh, that's the wrong surface. Do... No. No bad. Uh, do we have passive providers up here? We do not. Do we have steel chests up here? Uh, no, we don't. Give me some steel then. That actually isn't surprising. Wait, there's only one container with it? That's pretty weird. We've only got 170 steel up here. Uh, that's a little oopsie. But what I will do to give us a hand is point this at Hagen Orbit. Whoops, what the hell happened? I'm good, and you? How was your Sunday? Uh, not too bad. This is Monday today, actually, yeah. Uh, I am... I actually slept for like four hours or so, and then stayed up longer than I should have, thinking, oh, I'm fine. Oh wow, that's filling fast. Wow, that is filling fast. Having a huge storage tank right next to the cargo rocket is a pretty good idea. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. I did bring a landing pad. So let's start with that. Um, I think the steel is here, landing pad is here. Uh, where, where is it? This one? There we go. Oops. Alright, we will start with... I should probably be a bit more careful that we make the most of our scaffolding. We should have more than enough, but I'd like to... I'd like to be careful with it. Okay, so destination, Hagen Orbit Landing Pad. Launch trigger manual. Full of random materials. Fantastic. Off we go. Big breaths only, indeed. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, life support being sent this way. Um, okay. Why, did, why is there half a stack of steel in here? Wait, how much steel did we get? 953. Okay, good. That's... It, it's terrible, but it's relatively good. Uh, and I wanted to make some passive providers. Oh, we're going to need green circuits. We've got plenty of those. Okay, passive provider, roboport, solar panel, substation, which I don't know where I've put it. Uh, actually, I have a pylon substation here, so we're already taking power from the ship. 
which apparently we have a need for seven megawatts. What? Huh? What is trying to eat seven megawatts of power here? We've got... Oh, it's the RoboPort charging. Greedy thing. Okay. Um, I should have made a bigger chest. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to dump scaffolding in here. If I have any more. Which I don't. Uh, I should turn off my own RoboPort. And make some storage chests. How about a nice big warehouse? Concrete and steel. I didn't put concrete in here. Tell me... Tell me you brought some concrete up. That might have been the oversight. Yep. Okay, I guess we'll make a storehouse instead. Nope, that needs concrete as well. Well then. Uh, storage strong boxes it is. If you don't mind and when you're not in mortal peril, uh, how did you do the prerequisite setup for the crafting combinator? I was trying to mess around with it and having a hard time. Uh, sure, I'll show that in a sec. Let me just set this up so that we can let the bots do a few things. Hello, sir. I am the sky. Thank you very much for the uh, sub. Four months, much appreciated. Hello, sir. Welcome, welcome to you as well. And I, Jammin, welcome as well. Uh, very much appreciated. I am the sky. Thank you. Okay. Um, so now we've got the bots picking up all our stuff for us. Fantastic. Okay, so the crafting combinator. Um, I'll actually copy this to the... Or copy... Hmm. Some of this won't copy. That's fine. Uh, copy this to the editor so I can show you a bit more easily. Okay, so we have a big container here. Um, you might want to use the robo network. Uh, for example, get rid of that, and that, and all of that, uh, and just suppose this is an active provider here, or a, a big, uh, storage, you've got a big chest here, or something, um, whatever the case, Uh, usually we read from the robot network. If we do read from the robot network, it's good to go each greater than zero. Output each, just so we don't get negatives when the bots move stuff around when we're low. Um, that goes to a bunch of positive signals for stuff we're trying to craft. Uh, and then we pick one signal with anything greater than zero, output each and input count, and send that to the crafting combinator. That's our most basic uh, uh, crafting combinator setup. How you get the resources to the machine is up to you, but you can use a, a recipe combinator to figure out what uh, inputs are required for the the current recipe um, and send that to like a requester chest or buffer chest for example uh, but as for prerequisites there are two ways to go about it and we've got a bit of a hybrid here because with k2 se and with lighted power poles um, and with ltn train stops we're running into a few use cases where um, okay, so the reason that we need any logic for prerequisites at all 
especially if you're going to do any manufacturing, any uh, intermediate products in the recipe, uh, in the auto crafter, which I generally don't recommend, but we didn't have that much stuff to work with uh, where we were. Um, so everything that you see when we're selecting items here, if you bring up debug, you can see the item ID. Uh, I forget which checkbox it is over here, but show debug info in tooltips. That's probably it. Yeah, show debug info in tooltips. So F4 for those settings, F5 for debug. Uh, but you can see the item ID is these items are ordered by item ID left to right, top to bottom, and left tab to right tab, uh, I believe. Um, the crafting combinator, I think, follow if you don't bother with the anything signal, uh, there was another reason why I had this combinator, but the anything signal, arbitrarily picking a signal, and I think the crafting combinator as well, if you give it multiple signals, it'll follow the ordering of uh, item ID. And that goes the same for if you feed a bunch of color signals to a lamp, it'll go left to right for priority. Uh, so a lot of the time this works out perfectly well for us for the ordering of prerequisites. Uh, in vanilla, it works just fine for belts, but K2 adds these loaders before the belts that they are requiring. Uh, for burner inserter to electric mining drill to electric mining drill 2, or furnace to stone furnace, uh, stone furnace to steel furnace to electric furnace, uh, that all happens to be in order of its requirements. But we do need to, uh, we do have some exceptions. Uh, let me just pay a little attention up here. Power's not fine. Um, could I put some solar panels down? And make sure we have enough storage, I hope. Okay. Also, I was going to say put down another RoboPort, but we're already bottlenecking on charging the bots, so we'll give that some time. Um, so, where were we? Uh, if we're doing intermediate products here, though, all of these items are required for things over here, and it's in the wrong order. Or if we have something like these loaders that require belts, or lighted power poles that require lamps, same goes for the logistic train stop. Uh... Even if we, uh, we, we can't count on just one machine managing to get that done. One way around this problem, where you don't actually have to do any logistic, uh, any prerequisite logic, uh, is to simply have lots of machines working in parallel, because if you have six or twelve machines, it's very difficult for it to get completely deadlocked uh, if it's selecting like the first twelve recipes uh, in order that it's trying to make at the moment. Uh, although it definitely could happen, especially if you are doing the intermediate products at the auto crafter. Uh, but putting that aside, here is the generic, well, generic, uh, here is the co uh, lower combinator count, uh, but less specific version of dealing with prerequisites. Boggles, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so there's two ways we go can go about it. This part is actually really simple. There's just a, a lot of them. Uh, all we're doing is making exceptions. We're going to say if we do not have 
50 lamps. Uh, so we're reading from the Robo Network or whatever. Uh, if lamp is less than 50, then output negative uh, negative logistic train stop, a big number, uh, and then we're not going to... Oh, this is actually slightly different from what I'm describing, but we'll get to that. Uh, but suppose this was all you were going to do for prerequisites. Uh, you could make one rule for every prerequisite that doesn't line up conveniently. Um, we're just going to say negative a million uh, logistic train stops. If less than 50 lamps are detected, output that. That goes to our, our signals that we feed to the crafting combinator, but only if they're positive, uh, and that'll prevent that from getting made. Um, what we have here instead is all of these are effectively considered prerequisites for all of these. So we've got... they're on the same green wire as everything up here. So we just put those in as positives, and then we multiply those by negative one on the red wire. So we're reading just from these with the red wire. Uh, we get the negatives of those, and then we say uh, for everything that's greater, if every signal is greater than zero, output P for prerequisite. Uh, so this right here is reading from uh, I think this, let me just double check, but this right here, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything we've got, uh, normally we multiply that by negative one to compare it to what we want. Uh, so this green wire is positive values of all the stuff we already have. We compare that to the negatives for the prerequisite, which is to say implicitly does addition and subtraction if you give it two inputs of the same signal type. Uh, so if all of these are greater than zero, then we must have all of our prerequisites. If we do have all of our prerequisites, uh, output everything input count from over here. And that's just a bunch of positive signals for stuff we want to craft uh, that these have to be prerequisites of these that the normal system doesn't handle. Uh, and then over here we have even more exceptions to these rules because with the current combination of mods we've got a few things that are multiple levels of prerequisite that doesn't line up with the item ID ordering uh, that we have to deal with. So on top of all of this, we've got, if we don't have lamps, don't try to craft this stuff. Or rather, to put it another way, if 200 lamps are detected, then output 50 lighted substations. Uh, and I think that also connects to read everything we have on the green wire for these inputs. Um, so if we have these items, we craft these items. Now my brain hurts, I'll just throw down a 100 machine mall. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, someone asked how it works, so that's, that's about the best. Oh, and this P signal here is just negative one. Um, because if we, uh, if we send a P signal to the crafting combinator, it'll get confused and just do nothing. Um, so we're simply going negative P signal here, um, has to be greater than zero here, and because, uh, 
because if we're outputting everything from this combinator, if P, it will include P when it outputs everything. A lot, uh, there's a lot of places where I would love to get it to say, output everything except P, or output everything that's on, uh, that's on the green wire would be, I would love that signal to exist, that um, uh, combinator signal, uh, like wildcard, but unfortunately it does not. So this is just to remove P from, from all of this. I'm just not that good with circuits. Yeah, it takes practice. It takes time. All right, have the bots finished? Not even close. Okay, uh, I'll just leave them to it for now. Where's our scaffolding? Oh, it's actually all in one chest, which isn't even... Uh, isn't even in the wreckage. Oh, look at all that lovely stuff. Oh, and we get a space capsule. That's nice. Okay, scaffolding. I'm just going to put that in here. How about we stop the bots picking all this up for the moment? And do I have more construction bots? Or did I only bring 50? I only brought 50. That was suboptimal. Uh, do we have Logi bots? Don't tell me I didn't bring any Logi bots. Oh no. Well, it's probably fine actually. Actually, it's not that fine. I take it back. Nalvis equals trash planet. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll be in line. Evil plug. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, trying to get trains to play with elevators and spaceships to go across four surfaces, and I'm going crazy over it. Fair enough. I was actually quite impressed with what Myclat has done in that respect. He's got a system uh, that's so effective at using vanilla trains and spaceships that move trains around uh, to send items from place to place that he can accidentally <laughs> request something from, uh, from whole other surfaces like... It, it's not like the usual logistic setup that you have where, like, one surface has a bunch of logistics between itself and then it exports and imports specific things to specific places. Uh, anything that's in the robot network, I think, on various surfaces can be requested at other surfaces, which uh, is obviously... Well, it reminds me of... You know, what people, like when I was learning programming, what people would say about C++, it's basically, it, it gives you the power to shoot your own foot off. It's your foot. And Mike definitely shot his foot off. Uh, but I'm very impressed that that was even possible. Alright, uh, I was actually getting... Uh, no, let me in, let me in. I was actually going to put the scaffolding in here so we can get the bots to do this. How much more do we have? 2,000? How much is this? Uh, Tal ghosts. That is 350. I think we actually have more scaffolding than I realized. It should be pretty cozy, uh, making our base here. But since I don't have any life support, I will be sitting in the spaceship while the bots do the work. I can do train limits and auto rockets with blocking signals, but this is next level. Thank you. Imo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. 
hope you're doing well. Never saw how he did that. Yeah, Mike is... Okay, so what I just explained, I understand that, like, unless I go extremely slowly, uh, it's going to be easy for people to to fail to keep up, um, even if they could have made this themselves. That's just part of the nature of dealing with these things. But... Bungie Bum, thank you very much for the Prime Yay. Sub. Much appreciated. Two months, thank you. Yay. Uh, but I think Mike goes extra a little bit too fast in going over his circuit stuff for the audience. Zero Matrix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just did Vanilla Rocket. Should I do K2 or Mega Bases next? Uh, depends on your tastes. I personally am not that much into vanilla mega bases. I don't like the way the beacons work, for one thing. And certain other things like uh uh this this is not something I've tested or anything, but uh, apparently each roboport costs a bit UPS wise. Uh things like that really don't you're you're very constrained. You're, you're you're coerced into very specific build patterns to like get lots of throughput without impacting UPS too much. Uh, who needs feet anyway? Who needs feet? Mike just flies over it. <laughs> Mike doesn't explain very well, that's what I don't like. He rambles it off to go do something else. Uh, sorry, Mike. Should the Logi network be connected directly to the request line, or should it only pass through a negative multiplier? Uh, I, I put it through a each greater than zero output each input count. Oh, like this. Uh... Yeah, that, that that normally would probably go here. Um, but I was just sort of demonstrating this. Uh, the, the only reason that I do this is if we're low on something and the bots are moving that item around, it'll often spit out a negative number um, for whatever item it is, which can mess up our logic just a little bit. It's not that big of a deal, though. It it only lasts a moment, um, but I just find it a little bit annoying. Um, okay, so... Are we out of scaffolding? I thought I calculated it. Um... All right, I guess let's trim this back a bit. Hopefully that's more than enough. Oh, do I have any clamps? I think we got a couple of clamps for free. Um... It would be nice to... Yeah, we've got four clamps. I don't suppose... I lined this up well enough. I, I can't search clamp in crafting because we don't have the technology yet. That's a bit annoying. Alright, let's go pick those up. Uh, that's actually super convenient, but also not, uh, I don't suppose we can pick a dolly's the landing pad? No. How about up here? Uh, it doesn't look a thousand percent good, but we could definitely, uh, I need room for a combinator again, I guess. I will be emptying these chests. Um, 
I could get the bots to do that, speaking of which. Actually, no, it's way... way cleaner if I just do that myself. Much uh, quicker. Uh, military science. And go in here. We'll need some more storage. I need more steel, I think. Gimme, gimme. Uh, whoops. But yeah, we need room for a combinator if we're going to take advantage of the spaceship clamp. Surprised I can reach that. Uh, let's see. Get anything else of high volume out of here. And we can definitely get the bots to pick up the barrels. Okay, and I think we can get like three chests for free because our holsters, wh whichever one of these is higher, is the only thing that matters. So, um, it's not like adding these chests effectively adds any mass. And then a combinator. If we have one lying around somewhere. Let's get the bots back to work. Um, put some more storage here. Four clamps? Wait, what? Should the Logi network be connected directly to... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I get the each greater than zero. I've had that issue myself. I'm asking about the connection from the output of that directly to the constant combinators. Yeah, that was just a little mistake uh, while I was messing around and demonstrating. Uh, let's keep our exotic resources together. Uh, fancy belt can go in here, I guess. Along with the, what little space belt I accidentally picked up. Space rail. Where are we keeping our ice? Wait, didn't I... Oh, I was going to say, didn't I bring more ice than this? Uh, we don't have any logic bots. That's why they didn't take the stuff from me. Do we have everything we need to handcraft some bots? Um, advanced circuit, flying robot frame, big electric, electronic components. We don't have the electronic components and I don't think we can make them here. So that's a no for this trip. Uh, where are my combinators? Gimme, gimme. I don't have any. I guess we're handcrafting those. Iron, copper. And then barrels go in here. No logi bots. I can't believe we've done this. Especially because we're trying to set up a little tiny um, tiny build for science. Whatever. It's it's fine. That's what we'll say. There's probably logi bots here, aren't there? I can't I can't quite justify a spaceship trip to go get 50 Logibots. Not when uh, 
not when Ion Stream is our one of our precious temporary resources until we get it going. At least the suffocation doesn't kill us that quickly. Why don't I give them a hand with these? Cryonite. Cryonite. I'll hold on to the circuits. Uh, rail can go in with this stuff, I guess. We're just going to turn that into space rail sooner or later. The further I go, the better in terms of helping the bots. Circuits can go... not here. Oh, we do have green circuits. Wait, no, it wasn't green. Red circuits. No, we actually need electronic components specifically, directly, for the flying robot frames. That's why we can't make bots up here. Uh, iron, steel, copper, heat shield, LDS. That might be a bit too many things, actually. Iron, steel, copper. Maybe not. LDS, heat shield, nice and organized. Uh, speaking of steel, give me some more. Give me some more red and green circuits. And uh, let's put Heat Shield LDS here. And Steel can go in there. Uh, make another trip down this way. I think we brought enough cryonite for a while. What do you guys think? Do we have... that's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, why don't we make this just cryonite for the sake of keeping it neat and tidy? There we go. And yet another chest. Oh, I could do a shift C. That works. That's a shortcut with uh, even distribution. Yeah, that makes it much easier. We definitely want a specific chest for our... Uh, actually, I want to put all of our spaceship things in the spaceship. Because it's better if we have walls here in case it gets damaged. Not to mention just making things easier to find. Oh, we have more rocket tech cards. I forgot about that. And the bots have got a relatively short... Oh, is that full as well? Relatively short trip to this one. I'll just leave them to it. Actually, it's obvious they're picking up just cryonite for the most part. That's going to be easy to drop off. Uh, now we need room. Uh, why don't we put stone brick in here? Heat shield goes here, actually. Give me this, and we're done. 
Okay, all neat and tidy. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't have the concrete to make the big containers because this is much easier to see what we've got for the most part. Uh, let's put barrel in here. Space pipe. Okay, so do we have all of our exotic buildings here? I think we do. Um, what thing did we need a space manufacturing for specifically? I think we didn't is the answer. I'll probably end up using this for an auto crafter. And, and probably take advantage of the cargo landing pad here. I mean, we've we've still got our auto crafter design from last playthrough. That should still be perfectly fine. Uh, that uses six of these. Although, I kind of want to redesign it, not just because... We've made some progress with prereqs, but because we've got big containers to play with, that makes it so much nicer to deal with uh, too much stuff ending up in the requesters. Holy shit, that's a machine, wow. Yeah, that's our um, auto crafter from the mall from our last playthrough in space. Um, but for the moment, I think we just need space assembly machines. I can always make more. That's actually one of the, it's easier to make space assembly machines than it is logistic bots up here. Uh, first of all, we are going to need, um, space. Actually, why don't I just put this in here? Uh, we're going to need cosmic water. This does make it a little bit more awkward to do some of these builds. Uh, like to, it's a lot more visceral and easy to literally physically pick that up, pick this up, and put it down. But what can you do? Uh, I think Cosmic Water has to come from one of the space assemblies. Or, no, it's a chemical plant type thing, isn't it? So, biochemical... Oh, right, I forgot we can literally just do this. That makes it easier. Okay, Cosmic Water? No? Is it Life Support Facility? No. Uh, decontamination facility. It looks very, very similar. In fact, one could argue it looks identical, but with a different, with different paint on it. Uh, so we need lubricant in, water in, and uh, cosmic water out. Um, we've got lubricant barrels. We've got heavy oil barrels, which we can turn into lubricant. Um, let's see. Lubricant barrel. Empty. So this is going to look something like this. We need stone, which we've got here. Blue circuits, which we don't have here, actually. Uh, solid rocket fuel, which we do have here. We can get stone from a delivery cannon chest. But I foolishly neglected stone when I did the delivery cannon chest build for supplying Hagen. So we will have to physically go back to Nalvis to set this up. 
uh, considering how relatively difficult it is to get stone on Hagen, I definitely should have done that. But I didn't notice until it was too late. Uh, space transport belt. Pick a dollies would have been quicker, I think. Not by much. That also needs lubricant, though. Uh, I don't really want to have two machines emptying lubricant. But I would love it if... I don't think... I don't think there's going to be a good way to line this up. Could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, here we go. There's no room for an inserter through here. Yeah, I think this is what we ended up doing on Nalvis Orbit. I can't check because these are literally the same machines that I picked up. Um... Yeah, I think we had like a couple of... This is why we have literally two space pipe up here. Yeah. Uh, because we had to do this. We need to empty... Wait, how did that fit? How did we do that? Lubricant won't go through this machine, right? I wonder how it was done. Well, it's not that big of a deal. We can just make a bit more space pipe. Uh, we also need ice. And we don't need the chemical plant for cosmic water, that actually won't work. Or the biochemical facility, I should say. Uh, that's making ice. We need water ice to steam. I think I forgot to steal the electric boiler from Nalvis, which it turns out you can use to melt ice. Much, 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 much more compact than this thing. Can I craft it? We just need a heat shield. So that's a yes. Nice and easy. Alright, water from ice. And then... And then... How do we do this with just two pipe? I, I don't see how, to be honest. Oh, I think I do see how. No? And even if we did that... Oh, I guess a long arm inserter would do. Oh, it's neater anyway. Alright, so we'll have a chest here. Um, we'll turn it into a request a chest later. For the physical ingredients for the... Other than belt. Uh, for the rocket science. Processing units, stone and solid rocket fuel. Steel, LDS, small electric motor. We do have uh, all of those coming in from the rocket, but I can't really fully automate it because it's mixed. Uh, but let's see, I think that is everything here. Uh, we can also make uh, lubricant from heavy oil. Actually, I think we need the giant chemical plant for that. At least we do have a use for it. Um, since I actually made this before I realized that the electric boiler could do the same job. 
Morpheus is out. Good to ke uh, see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are clamps actually needed? I've not needed them at all in my playthrough. Uh, it's not strictly needed, it's just convenient um, to have this automatically clamp when we send it back home. Uh, even though this ship will be given destinations manually. Oh, we can make some life support. Wait, can we? Did we bring coal up here? I don't think we brought coal up here. Uh, we did not bring coal this time. Rip life support. We would also need to make secure canisters for whatever. It's fine. Okay. Uh, so that is pretty much our space science, I think. Now, I, I want to make a couple more space assemblies. Processing unit LDS. Let's grab some of those. And heat shield. And big electric. Okay, that's a good number. Uh, we've got lubricant coming from here. Should be fine. And empty heavy oil barrel. Okay. So that's our... We should really just add more pipe to do this properly, so that the, uh... Oh wait, I don't think the space underground pipe will reach through here. We just got used to luxuriously long, uh, undergrounds, and now we have to deal with the basic space belt and space pipe, which is horrendously short. Uh, yeah, I think this will be fine. Let's just do that. Um, we'll use the lubricant on this side and the heavy oil on this side until we run out of something. Which should take a while. One last thing, anything greater than zero output anything will lock in a single signal until it reaches zero and then switch to another, correct? Uh, yes. Yes, it will. Uh, it'll pick the first signal in order of item ID. I believe. Uh, Alright, let's put our assembly machines here. I would be doing this in the editor, but we can't um, do the space things in the editor. At least not without going to another save. Probably shouldn't have deconned that, I should just move it out of the way. Okay, uh, so we need to build for utility science pack. Wait, what? Hold on. Do we need the giant assembly machine? Uh, yes we do. It's the only thing that can make them. It feels weird that, uh... Space Science Pack can now be made with these little machines, uh, but we still need a giant space manufacturing uh, to make uh, utility science packs, for example. That also wants space belt. So could we lay, it, lay this out so that the space belts will be shared? Maybe even... I think we'll definitely make some more space pipe. Uh, we probably just need one lab, to be honest. Let's use the nav view. I was thinking of putting that here.
for here. And insert us like this. What do we need? Oh, thermofluid. Lovely. Good. I was hoping we would this would be more complicated. Uh also machine learning data, that is gonna be fun. Machine learning, I should have used FNEI. Um I definitely like was it Factory Planner? Or no, Recipe Book. I, I definitely do like Recipe Book. But for a quick lookup and for the visual aid, uh, I'm definitely still liking FNEI. Um, at least until we get so deep into the playthrough that FNEI starts being ridiculously slow. For some reason. Uh, so we actually need a supercomputer. Please tell me we brought what we need to make a supercomputer. We brought what we need to make a supercomputer. Okay, cool. Uh, can I do it now? Uh, made in a space manufactory, processing unit, LDS, and one of these. Let me up. Super computer. Control click. We've got everything. Let's get some power. And more LDS. Fantastic. Alright. Back to the safety of our ship. Uh, super computer goes in here. And no doubt that'll also use coolant, but I believe both of these will be using the same temperatures. Uh, 25 degree output is negative 10, so that'll be easy enough to deal with. Um, how about we put those outputs together? I need some substation over here. Kind of a tease that they gave us exactly one substation pylon. Turns out I am the one holding the lighted substations. Let's just put a couple of those down. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Okay, so this is the only thing that needs the machine learning data. Uh, we also have to deal with scrap coming out of this, which is going to take a while before we need more than a chest to deal with it, but even so. Uh, we'll need some space pipe. We will need... Empty lubricant here-ish. It's going to be a lot cleaner. Uh, Alright, that's all looking okay. I can't, since we're making more pipe anyway, let's do that. It looks looks a little better. Why don't we just move all of this up a bit, actually? Uh, because we've got no room to input to this thing. We can fix that. Then again, we'll only have room for a small chest this way. Um, 
I could put as big a chest as I like here. In between these ones. I don't have any concrete, actually, for the moment to make a big chest, so we'll just do one of these. And leave room for the output in here as well. Just have to make sure there's one inventory space left empty in here for the space science packs. Oh, and one more for the utility science packs. And I think we should have a different chest for input of uh, the other sciences. Do I have my prog modules? I do. Let's just module this up. Uh, lab. Uh, which type of lab is this? Oh, I see it. Advanced lab. I think it's prog 2s that we have, right? Yes. The only prod we can do in space. Green circuits, blank data card. Here for a second I thought this was looking really easy. Blank data card. Uh, requires advanced circuit copper plate, polished data storage substrate. Oh no. Wasn't this part of the old uh, first tier of space? science, uh, rocket science. I seem to remember the first, at last, last version, the, uh, space science pack was as difficult as this. Now we're just catching up to that part with utility science packs and production science packs will probably be about the same. Uh, all right, so polished... I think we need another decontamination facility. We do. Uh, where do we actually make blanks? I think we can do it... Wait, what? Oh, I remember this. It doesn't actually show up when we search blank for blank data card. What's the, like technical name for it. Oh my god, it doesn't show up here at all. Let's see. SE empty data? Let's try searching empty data. There it is. Okay. Uh, polished data storage stub, uh, substrate copper plate advanced circuit. Oh, more importantly, it's made in the space manufactory, so we need another one of those. Uh, how do we make one? Space menu. We can make it in a space assembly. It would be weird if we couldn't. That's a lot of stuff. And we need cosmic water. Ah, uh, lovely. Okay, um, I think we also need another decontamination facility. Decontamination facility, space pipe, 10 space pipe. Uh, plastic, glass, steel, copper. Do I have glass here? Surely I have glass. You're joking, I don't have glass. We might be a little bit stuck. Um, 
if we need glass to make space pipe. And we need space pipe to make... Uh, which was it? Decontamination facility. We need a second decontamination facility to make... Uh, to make our polished. So unless we're going to use a crafting combinator to make both the cosmic water and the cosmic water that it uses, uh, we're in a bit of a bind here. I'll have to request more resources. Rocket up from Hagen? Yeah, I don't have the stuff on Hagen to sort that out remotely, so I'm probably going to have to go back downstairs. Um, I was thinking about sending it from Nalvis, but this is probably easier, actually. Um, I don't, yeah, I didn't put glass in here. Which is weird, because we have glass on a belt going into this thing. Glass less than zero. Oh, I see, we've got it on a constant combinator. But the belt is green. Wait, what? No, this isn't connected. Huh? Oh, here it is. Glass 1k? So we're putting in negatives versus the positive. And when it reaches zero, we stop. Doesn't that mean there should be glass in here? Rocket is full? Yeah, no. Uh... It looks like there should have been glass in the rocket. But it must- the belt must have been empty when it was filling up, is my best guess. Okay. Uh, I think it would probably be easier if we just go back to Nalvis. I mean, not Nalvis, uh, Hagen. With our space capsule. I can come back with, uh, life support this way. So glass and concrete. Oh, and, uh, bots. And electronic components in case we need them again. The loader is wrong way. The loader is wrong way. Oh, on Nalvis? Oh, I probably did that manually. For reasons. Yeah, that was probably we had enough glass and processing units at the time. Okay. Um, we definitely don't have five... 500 stacks of room here right now. If I empty this, let's make some more storage. Well, it's not like we have concrete in this, do we? Yeah, we, we don't have concrete being able to be put in here, because we didn't have the bots network. Um, I didn't want to deal with bot attrition and setting up requester chests to deal with this um, when I only had like two requester chests to play with. So we don't have a bot system to dynamically respond to requests for this. And I didn't belt in concrete. Uh, all right, let's let's make a list of what we need. Um, we need glass, concrete, uh, electronic components, just in case. And I think we should keep designing, uh, just so that we know exactly what we need. Did I bring 
chests up here? Uh, I don't think I did. I think they are still on Hagen. As in the chests, that, you know, the buffer chests that we can use to take advantage of the bot network. So I need to get those as well. Even though we are painfully close to uh, to having our bot network, uh, I think I would like to set this up with the buffer chests this time. Uh, so, glass, concrete, electronic components, buffer chests, life support. Uh, anything else that we already know that we want to bring up? Since 2x2 two two chests and above are less spacious than their matching number of small chests, why bother with them for pure storage? Uh, it just kind of looks cleaner and is easier to deal with. Uh, especially here, like, if this was, like, a few... If this was just a bunch of small uh, chests, pretty much all of these... I think only one of these containers has more than four types of items in it. So, we, so just glancing at this, we don't know what's in this chest. But everything else, we can clearly see what it has. Henry Plank, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a good enough reason, thank you. Second something something facility uh, for the space manufacturing or decontamination facility. That's why we needed the space belt, uh, space pipe rather. And for space pipe, we needed glass. So that's what the glass is about. Um, all of this is pretty normal. We should have plenty of fast inserters up here, right? think. Uh, we have three. Three is not plenty. And we could definitely bring those from below much more easily than handcrafting them. So we'll bring fast inserters. Uh, stone brick, I suspect, we'll need. Do we have it here? We can make it here. Uh, we do actually have a bunch of stone brick here as well. Um, we can make ourselves a thermodynamics facility. We could do that right now, actually. And we can convert the stone to brick, so that's not that much of an issue. Oh, how many cargo sections did we get recycled? 28. That's not that bad for starters. Um, Alright, so let's pretend we've got our space manufactory to make blank data cards. Uh, polished data storage substrates need to go into it. Well, we know what this is going to be. So I feel like I can move this around for the visual aid. Actually, oh, never mind. Wait, I have an idea. Copy paste this. And then change that recipe back. We know exact. We have another one of these. I didn't realize we had two decontamination facilities. Fantastic. All right. So polished data storage substrates. Now we're going to have to deal with contaminated cosmic water, which means we need another decontamination facility. Never mind. Um, I think we can just lay it out like that. Input-output directly. 
Uh, rough data storage substrates. Glass, silicon, and iron plate. So we need to bring up silicon as well. And we need to bring that uh, bring that up in volume. I don't want to set up anything too permanent because I want to move all of this to rail blocks at the first opportunity. And I don't want it to be too difficult to tear up. Otherwise I would be figuring out like cargo landing pad for silicon goes here and so on. Uh, let's see. Rough data substrate. There we go. Uh, it also outputs scrap. We've got like one active provider chest somewhere. Uh, active provider chest. Is it on the ground? I mean, is it placed somewhere? There it is. I think we'll steal that. Active provided chest. Um, we'll probably need a. F we 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 we'll probably have to put that in a few places to deal with scrap. Actually, whatever we'll deal with that when we can. Uh, but what machine was rough data storage substrate? That's what I was trying to figure out. Uh, basic assembly machine. And what's the recipe? Three solids. Iron, silicon, glass. Okay. That's not too difficult. All of these will be fast inserters. Uh, we'll need a chest for this. Can probably use it to request things we need for blank data cards, green circuits as well. What do we need for blanks? Advanced circuit, copper, polished. Okay. Uh, polished is up here. Is that it? Is that the limit of our production chain that has to be up here? How do we deal with refurbishing? That just makes empties. So then we need coal. I won't bother with that up here just yet. Alright, I think we have our complete list. I, I think this is our build, pretty much. Uh, cosmic water is water and lubricant. We can make that right now. We need a request chest here for ice. Uh, and then I guess I'll put this here. So we can make our assembly immediately, actually. Where's our lubricant barrel? I also need chests for IO for the barrels, obviously. Uh, and we need some ice in here. Uh, just give me all of that, actually. Alright, so that's our cosmic water. Uh, we need some more space assemblies, heat shield, 
bust inserters. Uh, space assembly machine is a heat shield LDS, big electric. Big electric. Make a few more of those. Actually, I've got them lying around, I think. Uh, and how many fast inserters can we make? Enough. I think we need like 15 or something. We need 8. That's not 15. Alright. Uh, I'm going to make the bare minimum of these at the moment, just in case. And there we go. All right, that's our space assembly. And then we just need space pipe, uh, which means we need glass to make the decontamination facility. Um, that lubricant should last a minute. Yeah, that's more than enough. For the moment. All right, there it is. And now we can put blank dot to card. Uh, steel chest in here. And upgrade plan that to a requester so we know exactly what's going on here wait where did i why doesn't that have an icon oh i didn't actually finish it that's why steel chest requested chest Oh, it'll be a buffer chest, actually, but you get the idea. Oh, and I think we need... Nope, that's right. That one chest should be able to service all this. We need the thermo fluid. That's what I haven't done yet. Thermo fluid? Oh my goodness. What's thermo fluid called here? Coolant warm. Okay. Coolant. There we go. Uh, how do we make it? Wait, what? Thermofluid fluid, twenty-five degrees. Oh, I need left click. There's a hundred and forty-three. Okay. Okay. How about we look over this way? Thermo fluid. We have one recipe at the moment for 25 degree. We need chemical gel. No. I don't suppose we can soon unlock the better recipe. I doubt it. I thought cryonite rods could go into thermo initial thermo fluid. Uh, that's just a byproduct. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so how are we making our thermo fluid for the moment? We have but one option. 
sulfur, which we don't have up here, I don't think. So let's add that to our shopping list. Uh, iron plate, copper plate, heavy oil, chemical gel. We need chemical gel now. Okay. Chemical gel. There's only one recipe. Petroleum. And lots of it. And we need another bio chemical facility. Can we make that while we're here? We need glass, so that's a no. But other than that, it's not difficult. Uh, okay. Where are we going to put our chemical gel build? We're only making it to make coolant, right? So, up here somewhere? Actually, make that lubricant. Copy-paste that. Put it back. Make this one chemical gel. So we need petroleum and uh, cosmic water, which means also what are what are we making the thermo fluid out of? That can only be done in a biochemical facility. That's new. I'm quite sure the initial. Uh, thermo fluid build was made in a space manufactory last time. Well, they're the same size anyway. So three solids and heavy oil chemical gel. We need room here for chemical gel to go in. And also heavy oil. Uh, maybe it would be better to put these down here. And we could have space pipe like so. Just barely fits, I'm pretty sure. And, oh, that works. Now I can plan this. So my fluid, heavy oil is going to have to find its way over here as well. Now, I honestly feel like just doing another barrel emptier here, rather than pipe spaghettiing this all the way over. I think I will do that. And then we need a storage tank, not because we need any great volume of thermofluid, but simply so that we can not overfill it. I don't think we have a tank up here. Capital T tank. Yeah, we don't have... Oh, I have giant one. Might be more sensible to make a small one. Well, this would fit. Very conveniently, actually. And that would mean it's only one container, which is better for fluid flow. Uh, and we need a... Uh, something to cool the 25 degree thermo... Oh, wait. No, no, no. We need this to be cool thermofluid in the first place. 
um, we need our 25 degree thermofluid to make its way back to this. How do we make a uh, negative 10 degree thermofluid? Thermal radiator, that's nice and small. We do have thermal radiator, right? Okay, good. Yes, we do. We need some space pipe. Um, so we can't do that right this second. But... It's actually looking a bit tricky to fit this in somewhere. Hmm. Could I maybe have both of these have the same input here? So that's going to be negative 25. And then... Output... Get the spaghetti is getting out of hand, but what can we do? Um, so that's going to be twenty five degree thermofluid, and here we need negative twenty five. Which I think just means putting this here, which we can't. Okay. I think that completes our spaghetti. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not overly concerned with bottlenecks or speed or anything like that here. It's going to finish, um, it's going to finish all of our sciences that we can do with just one more type of science before we get to being ready to make the next type of science. Um, and that's all that matters. Uh, so yeah. Oh wait, I almost forgot petroleum. Uh, we're going to need petroleum in barrels. Uh, we could bring some more... Maybe I should bring crude oil barrels? Is that going to be more, uh, like, space efficient? Let's see... We need water, but we've got that in ice form. Two crude oil barrels makes uh, one, two, and a bit barrels of other fluids. And we can crack the light down to petroleum. Um, but I won't worry about that just yet. Uh, we'll... We'll bring that when we're going to improve on this. This is the bare minimum to get this going, which is what I want at the moment. Space spaghetti, indeed. Nagaskin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How come the ghosts are tinted blue? Uh, I don't remember which mod or version update does that. So I can't really answer, sorry. But it's not like anything special, it's just a ghost. Uh, minimal, min minimalist Jack, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. If you aren't making spaghetti somewhere, you, you're playing Factorio wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so we got our substations. This will be petroleum emptier. And... Uh, I hope. Uh, I should have made these green to start with. 
Actually, I'm only making it green because green is what we have. So this doesn't actually make sense. Uh, we should have more than enough buffer chests to make this work. hope. Well, we'll soon have logistics anyway. Alright, so is that our shopping list? Glass, concrete, electronic components, buffer chests, active provider chests, life support, fast inserters, silicon, sulfur, and petroleum gas barrels. And I don't think we're running low enough yet on heavy oil or lubricant to worry about bringing those up. Where does the cryonite come in? Here. I don't think I've got a... I could make that a request to chest. No, wait, that's where, where we're putting our science. Um, we could request cryonite and stuff here. We also need efficiency ones. Um, I did have those automated downstairs. They're pretty easy. One more reason we need to bring electronic components. Or I could just bring them up as efficiency modules. Uh, how many did we end up making? We stopped. Okay. We didn't have to stop, at least not yet. Let's stop making rod twos here and turn this into efficiency one. And we've got infinite copper, green circuit, electronic components I'm sure we'll run out of here. No, wait, we're making them right there. We're not making more silicon, because I don't have fuel in these furnaces. We've actually got a lot of components here, so we should have a good few efficiency modules by the time I get down there. Lutharian, hello, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, so that's one more thing we should bring up. It's not super necessary, but it'll make it a bit easier. Oh, I've actually got a bunch of efficiency ones here. It's only 10. It's not that exciting. Uh, but space belt is in place. Cool. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot to put a long arm inserter. Oh, it's actually a short inserter right here. Okay, I think we are ready to go pick stuff up. How many roboports do we have? More than enough. If we have one more, we have more than enough roboports. Um, but you can have that. Cool. So that should be our science for now. Hissing Walnuts, Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have you tried breathing air instead of vacuum? Only when I'm in the spaceship. Uh, let's drop this stuff off so we have more inventory space. Um, I don't want to be... carrying any more than I need to right now. Since every inventory slot, I don't care if I leave stuff up here that's 
like no good in space. Uh, like wind turbines, for example. Uh, every inventory slot. Personal inventory. Empty is one that we can use to bring things up without the chance of losing them. Actually, that goes in here. Clip explosives, lol. Let's make sure we have our personal logistics turned off. And... I fear if I... You know what? We're not going to need Roboport. Uh, we're not going to need combat stuff for our power armor until we go back to Nalvis. So I can definitely drop this stuff off. Leave that in the spaceship. And repair packs can go in here. Okay, we have our space capsule, a little solid rocket fuel. Oh, we're going to need um, a bit more solid rocket fuel than that to go back to Hagen. Uh, four to be precise. And don't need any cargo rocket sections. Fantastic. Uh, in that case... Wait, do my ammo slots count? Oh, they do. Hold on, let's see. Cargo capacity 2 out of infinity. Oh no, cargo doesn't matter. We're going back to the ground. Okay, cool. Ray is okay. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Factorio on a Monday is really throwing off my schedule. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to keep up the three-day Factorio schedule for a while. Can wind turbines be placed on scaffold? They cannot. We already confirmed that today. Uh, Alright, let's go back down. And hopefully we didn't miss anything. Spellmore. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the luck. Three days sounds great. I was catching up on last night's VOD. It's okay, even in the most distant orbit, you get a lovely amount of solar. Uh, that's true. On the ground, not so much. But yes, it is not that bad in orbit. Uh, okay, so let's get to filling out our shopping list. Give me back that solid rocket fuel. Uh, I know we need fast inserters. Take about this many. Oh, and I always forget that this is directly north. Rip. Um, I probably should have set up another landing pad. Oh well. Don't see anything in here that we need. Uh, what is that? Oh! Shots fired zero. Are we out of ammo? just had an asteroid land nearby. Nope, they fired. Hold on, what? Zero shots fired, zero of eight structures remain ready. They're all recharging right now. Huh? We have power. Oh, did we have two sets of medias back to back? Unfortunately, this doesn't have a timestamp. 
Captain True, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's weird. We've still got like 66 ammo, not counting what's in the cannons themselves. Okay, uh, we came here for chests. Oh, they're all over the place. More chests. More chests. Oh, they're on the ground as well. Uh, that's not what I meant to look for. Okay, we are carrying eight buffer chests. That'll be enough. I do want to take the active provider. Uh, and probably the requester chests. Or most of them. Probably want to leave this one because we want efficiency modules. Uh, let's give this some fuel, and that should keep us in quartz for a little while. Do we have stone here? I'm sure we do. Yeah, uh... Okay, how about this? All the stone. And I do mean all of it. There it is. I could have just picked dollies to that over if I'd known. I'll be taking that back. I could always mark these for deconstruction to get the bots to move the stone over. Um, so that should keep us in electronic components for a while. We do need to take electronic components up. What's the rate here? The relative rate. Net positive electronic components. Okay, cool. We can steal all of these. That's on our shopping list as well. I should probably take up more blue circuits. I know we don't have those set to be resupplied. Heat shield LDS we can bring whenever we want. Concrete was definitely on the list. Um, let's go get concrete, and then we'll look at what else we're bringing. Concrete. All of it. And give me, like, half of what's left there. It's all, the uh, cargo rocket is further to the right than I keep thinking it is. Let's check our shopping list. I don't think I've got a shortcut. Um, I'm going to change control 3 to be Hagen Orbit. Uh, planet. Sorry, Orbit. Planet Orbit, Egan Orbit, Hotkey Control 3, fantastic. Uh, let's see, inserters check, let's just mark these off with like a zero. Buffer chests and so on, check. We need sulfur, efficiency modules, um, what goes into electronic components to make them indefinitely? Uh, stone and 
water, basically. I'm sure we can make silicon with uh, thermodynamics facility. So we will be able to manufacture that up there. Oh, plastic. I don't think we have plastic up there. We need, whoops, uh, we also need glass. Let's get plastic before I have to remember it later. About 40 stacks. Uh, glass is over here. I don't think we need glass continuously, do we? No, we do. I think I'll take this much. And we've still got most... Uh, we've got, got almost half of a cargo rocket still. Let's see... Glass, concrete, silicon. Uh, let's get silicon now. Actually, I don't have... Yes, I do. Got silicon in the rail network. Nice and easy. Hmm. Given how much space we have in most of our builds, as long as we're using cargo rockets... I might end up just putting a cargo rocket sil uh, silo at the um, at the point of production for stuff that we want to send into space. We don't quite have enough room for quartz, but I don't think we need quartz directly. Apollo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we'll take all the silicon we can eat. And we still have a good chunk of space left. Uh, sulfur. And petroleum gas barrels. I need to automate that somewhere. Where's our oil? I need barrels as well. We'll do a semi-auto build. Quick and easy. Like we've got with the plastic here. Uh, I don't actually have an assembly machine handy. So we'll need some chests. Barrels in, barrels out. Uh, we'll need to make the barrels. And fast insert like this. My clap. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why do I have coal? Get out of here, coal. I don't have anywhere else to put it. Damn it. Wait, did we need coal in space? I think we needed coal for something. Coal... Life support? I think it was life support. I'm not too worried about that yet. And thank Hello, you. Hello, Vax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> thank you, MyClat, for the resub. Much appreciated. Two months. Call for life support. Yeah, I'm just not going to worry. Well, I might not throw this out of my inventory, but I'm just going to take the stack of life support that we've got over here and not worry about producing it just yet. The one stack will last quite a while. Speaking of, here it is. Didn't even have to search. Um, oh, I wonder if... Yeah, that's why. We had medias aimed at Nalvis... Uh, not Nalvis, uh, Hagen Orbit and then Hagen. That's why we got back-to-back -back medias that the cannons couldn't shoot down. 
interesting because the first lot had all eight of our it was seven meteors in orbit the first one had all eight of our cannons fire and it didn't even stop them all and then we had zero available for the next one which means i need more deliver uh more def uh defense installations but i can't really afford the power yet so i think we're just going to cross our fingers i did need bots um i only want 50 active in a robot network but i'll take up extra Call for oil liquefaction? That's a good idea. That is a very good idea, actually. It's much more stack efficient than bringing up, like, crude oil barrels. Especially when we have ice. Wishful thinking, a good defense. That's the one I use personally. Indeed. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so did I actually get the silicon? I did, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, we can probably not open both of these at the same time. We've got the life support, we've got the inserters, we've got uh, some electronic components, concrete, glass, silicon. We need sulfur, efficiency modules, and petroleum gas barrels. Uh, I don't... We do have sulfur in the rail network. We've also got a bunch of trains that are not moving. Because this one is full. Probably because we ended up breaking this wire. That will sort itself out if we have an iron consumer. Um, but presumably... Everything else is backed up and... Partly because the trains are not moving. I don't know what iron consumer we would have that probably isn't backed up at the moment. Is the thing. We don't have stone tablets. That's weird. Where were we even making stone tablets? Oh, stone brick, rather. Stone brick. Oh, was that from the delivery cannons? Probably. Yeah, stone brick. Uh, we have less than a train load. Okay. Might need to do that at Egan soon. Uh, but yeah, I could just take some iron. In fact, I need some in order to... Well, no, I don't. I need to pick up some stuff from the mall. Handcrafting would be a waste of time. Wow, that's a lot of express loaders. Why do we have... Why do we have infinite ex express... Loaders... We didn't get infinite power poles. Um, that's weird. We, we didn't, uh, let me guess, the wiring is a bit different? No? If we have belt, make express loader times 50. The signal is coming from somewhere else. No, I just turned it off, didn't I? Do we have express loader being asked for on another combinator that I forgot about? 1.4k. Where is this coming from? Lifetime supply? Yeah, pretty much. Considering that we stopped making... Oh, did we stop making express loaders? Yeah, no, negative 1.4k. 
that means we have like 1.4k more than we're asking for. Uh, and now it's 50? Wait, what? I don't understand. Input 1.4k express loaders times negative 1. So this has negative 1.4k express loaders. We can see it here. And if I turn this on, uh, the input to this becomes 1.4k express loaders? Or no? Oh, once the prerequisites are met. How is that happening? Output everything input... Oh, I think... No? It's not outputting everything. It's outputting specific signal type. But that is including what's in here. But then how did this not happen with the other the other signals that are working off the same logic. How did we not end up with infinite lighted substations, for example? Is the bot network messing up values? It's not connected to a bot network, this one. You actually accounted for prereqs? That's nutty, thanks. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm just going to switch that off and hope for the best for now. But that means we don't have any assembly machines right now. Well, I guess I can handcraft some. A small electric green circuit. Where's our green circuits? We're not making them here. Oh, did I only ever bring those manually? Uh, I think so. They lasted a surprisingly long time. Uh, I could add them here, I guess. Um... That is so strange. The wiring is the same, right? If steel gear wheel greater than 50, output express belt input count, express belt 1k. If express belt greater than 100, output express loader, express loader 50. Um, if anything, it seems to make sense that... Oh, I think it... I think it was just infinitely crafting the last thing. Or rather, the first thing. Like, out of all of these, they're all set to keep going indefinitely. Uh, or at least one of them will. Whatever comes first in the list. And we actually... We've got infinite express loaders because we got to the point where... All of our counts had been met. Uh, like, if Logistic Train Stop had come before Express Loader, I think we would have infinite Logistic Stops with this layout, because we're reading straight from here to check how many uh, Express Loaders we have. Okay. I think I know, it's a little bit hacky, but I know exactly how we can fix this. We're going to put a... Uh, decider combinator here. And I need copper and green circuits. We still don't have the green circuits because all of the trains are busy. Um, trying to drop off 
die in, in one place. Okay. So we're going to have a decider combinator. Uh, each greater than zero output each. And whatever that last thing is that we're going to end up with infinite of, we're going to give it a negative a million signal. Um, assuming we have... No, it should be two deciders. So we're going to go negative a million this. We are going to check if we have... Uh, that doesn't quite work. I need an arithmetic. Uh, if express loader greater than 50, output 1 express loader multiplied by negative a million. Or negative one should probably work. Since it'll be the same as the amount we're requesting. Or, yeah, uh, express loader input count. Okay, so if we have met our quota, output a negative of that quota to here. And then pass this through... I don't actually think we do need the each greater than zero for this one. Yeah, that should be unnecessary. So this is it. We're just Whatever the last thing that we're going to keep crafting indefinitely is, because of these, uh, we're going to check for our quota and output negative uh, if, if we have enough. And what? Nani? Did... Did we just still make more express loaders? There's a whole lot of prereqs to make before we can see if it's doing that. Uh, I'm just going to turn this off for now. When I'm back on planet, we'll... Uh... We'll give it a look. Do you have keep crafting until zero on? Yes, but it shouldn't matter. We've got each greater than zero output. Oh, sorry, anything greater than zero output anything. So once we have negatives, once we've gone over quota, it won't output something. All right. I need an assembly machine, which means steel, small electric. And iron and stone. Uh, where's my stone brick? Here it is. Okay. And a couple of steel chests. A couple of inserters. I think we need three, actually. And we can throw something together for petroleum barrels. Okay. 
barrel of petroleum. Uh, I actually need power as well. Uh, it's a headache when you're running around with no stuff. Uh, steel goes here. And I just need to pick up a substation. Which hopefully we've got over here. Or even a medium pole. I think I saw a uh, small pole, that'll do. Let's go. A short walk of shame because I ran out of rocket fuel. There should be some on the belt here. Oh, that movement speed, though. That's nice. Uh, that might be a bit much rocket fuel, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, small pole. Fantastic. How many efficiency modules do we have now? It's a start. How much of a start is it? We need one efficiency module for four utility science packs. Uh, so we need 63 to get our bots done. But I'm pretty sure we can make more of them in space. Uh, we already confirmed that we've got what we need to set up a chain for, uh, for silicon. We've got a million silicon up there as well. Glass and plastic, uh, electronic circuits and copper. Yeah, we can definitely make quite a lot of efficiency modules up there. And this is already enough for our prize. Um, so let's check our shopping list. Sulfur efficiency modules and petroleum gas. We're just waiting on petroleum gas barrels. Uh, I can definitely go pick up sulfur. It's right here. Getting low on space, that's fine. Efficiency modules and petroleum. I should get colored concrete so I can do some kind of grid pattern that makes it easier to see where we are on the map. Oh, I kind of forgot. Uh, the efficiency modules don't take up all that much space. How much petroleum do we need? I think it's two barrels for one something. Uh, what's this called? Gel. Chemical gel. A hundred, yeah, two barrels for 20 chemical gel, but we don't need a whole lot of, that's four recipes, two, two recipes of thermofluid per petroleum barrel. Uh, we don't actually need to, I think we lose a little bit of thermofluid when we make negative 10, right? We lose 2%. So every time this loops, uh, we lose, well, it depends on the volume, 20, yeah, it's not much. That petroleum's actually going to go a long way. 
Fantastic. Um, did we actually... Oh, we ran out of steel. Let's go get some. Steel... Not that much. I mean, I wanted to give it overkill amounts, but that is over overkill. Uh, I'd kind of like to fill this with petroleum. Let's see, 10 times 50 is 500. We've got 22k. Uh, and 38. Yeah, we've actually got enough to fill this chest with petroleum barrels in storage here. Our iron trains have actually finished moving. Fantastic. Even though that's looking completely full. Uh, I'll just double check. Oh, they didn't go back to the depot with iron. What are the odds of that? These containers are literally completely full, and yet... So this is completely saturated, this is completely full. Our trains did not go back to the depot with iron still in them. Uh, that is an in incredibly good fit. So that that's just an incredibly precise amount of... No, I've definitely taken iron from here before, so it's not the shape of the build. It's not that we just happen to perfectly fit, like, one train load of stuff, or two train loads of stuff in between here and here or something. But even so, that's incredibly unlikely. Wow. Is it possible to get your current blueprint book in a few days in Discord? Uh, my base is expanding so fast due to your rail system. I love it. Uh, thank you. It's actually on the Discord. I updated it pretty recently. It's because of the iron patch next to it. Oh, I forgot about that. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, no, that, that changes the odds from low to 100%. Okay, good call, Buvim. Alright, we are almost half full for petroleum. Uh, if we're going to take 48 stacks, we will have approximately... We'll only have two stacks left in the cargo rocket. Uh... Do we have more electronic components and or efficiency modules? We're actually out of silicon because we're out of sand. Because we're out of stone. Okay. Bots? Pick up that stone, please. Yeah, I thought we had more stone in that chest. But, uh, apparently this thing consumes stone pretty quickly. It's actually like a third, it's actually like two per second. So I'm surprised that was empty already. Six per second if this goes full speed. Oh, did we make glass? That might be why. Okay, so it might actually be six per second stone. All right, I think we'll cancel that. And the bots can just not bring stone where it's needed actually, because it's not like we had a filter on this one. Let's set this to stone. And that should keep going for a while. 
Uh, okay, anything else I want to do while that's filling up? I think we've got pretty much the perfect amount of all of these resources. Let's quadruple check our shopping list. Sulfur, check. Barrels, uh, I've got some efficiency modules. We can make more efficiency modules. Silicon, check, I think. Uh, silicon quadruple check. Glass, concrete, electronic components. Oops. Oops. Concrete, glass, electronic components, blue circuits as well, because why not? Um. Bots. I forgot to put that on the list. Chests and... I didn't really need to take these requested chests away. I could definitely put a request for stone over here so that that'll work indefinitely. And take this stuff out. May as well take the speed modules up. More processing units? I don't know, we probably don't need... I shouldn't put the processing units in the cargo rocket. They're relatively... It's not that they're expensive, but they're a bit more troublesome to make at the moment. I don't have a processing unit built down here yet, although we have designed it. Um, I thought that was space pipe for a second there. Oh, if we've got this many Logibots, I think I'll take some more. And advanced circuits we are making on planet, so I'll take all of those. Do we need rare metals? Um, can we go back to number one quickly? I guess not. I don't think... Okay, so it, rare metals are included in material testing packs. I don't think we'll be needing those just yet, though. Yeah, I don't think we need rare metals right now. Oh, you can use it in... Uh... Ion stream. Or is that how we make ion stream? That is how we make ion stream. Rare metals plus plasma stream. May as well take some up. Is that components? It is. We still don't have these. Oh, there's no plastic. Uh, all right, that's probably fine. Did we take plastic upstairs? We did. Oh, we will. Let's go pick up our petroleum. Where is our petroleum? Oh, I literally just caught it finishing. Nice. And make a bit more room here. Uh, I want blue circuits in my inventory. Solid rocket fuels, not as big of a deal. I'll put stuff that I'm not going to bother dropping, but I don't care about much in here. Ooh, 
blue circuits, components. Uh, some more red circuits. All right, I think that's everything. I don't want to waste too much more time. Uh, I think that's it. All right, back to orbit. Hagen orbit landing. That's what I forgot to do. I think I commented on this earlier, uh, but I could have maybe put another cargo landing pad. That's not true. We don't have concrete. Um, I could have emptied this. Actually, let's see. We've got 407 stacks. And how many is this? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 61 stacks. Uh, this is like 24 or something. 60 or so. I think we can probably... Oh yeah, we can get the bots to empty this. It'll take a moment. But once they do, we'll be able to send the cargo with a much lower chance of crashing. <laughs> we go from 100% to less than 100% chance of crash. Alright, uh, I think while we wait for that, that is a good opportunity to take a little break. Uh, let's do some words on stream. And I'll hydrate and stuff. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Nicely done. Fantastic, as expected. Level 7 is next. But for now, we'll do some Factorio. Uh, I was actually surprised to see that there are actually no trains moving on either planet at the moment. At least not for LTN. I guess it's not that surprising at this point. I don't know, it is kind of surprising for literally everything to be saturated. Uh, surprising in a good way. Wait, red circuits aren't saturated. What are we missing here? Electronic circuits? Electronic circuits don't have st Oh, I remember. Why don't we have stone brick, though? Is it just slow? I don't think it is. Stone brick. Uh, we've definitely got the resources. Since it's pretty much just one... Um, pretty much just one thing at a time that's being sent by the cannon. Maybe we could even... Oh, I broke it. Because when I changed the timer, I didn't change this part as well. Okay. Let's see if sending something every 30 seconds is something that Nalvis's power can handle. Um, there should be a cannon shell coming in soon. Yep, here it comes. Oh, wow. Quite a few, actually. Uh, whoops. I definitely should have waited for visual com uh, confirmation that that was working correctly. Uh, so we can see the spikes. Oh, that's accumulator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see the spike of power consumption by the delivery cannon there. And it drops off after half a minute. And it goes back up. So during the day, we can definitely keep up with this. Um, it shouldn't be firing this many cannons indefinitely. Because we've left it not firing the cannons for a while now. So I think overall it can probably manage it, although we might get a little power crash or two during the night. Um, actually, I don't think that will happen because... Uh, yes, it will. Because we're not able to use this uh, steam battery. We could maybe make it so that we can use the steam battery again. I'll just have to try to remember to disconnect that later. Um, are there any CMEs headed for Nalvis? There are, actually. Not for 15 hours, though. Okay, I think that's fine. Kevin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We don't have any more circuits here. Oh, that's right. We're literally just waiting on this to empty. We're down to 2.3k stone. And we're very much bottlenecked on recharging the bots, which is bottlenecked on electricity. Um, but yeah, that'll actually be done pretty soon. Why don't we use the rest of our inventory slots on petroleum? Not that I think we really need to, but it'll be nice to definitely not have to worry about that for a while. We don't actually have that much more petroleum. Okay then. I'm just going to set this to only take barrels if petroleum is greater than two train loads. Uh, so that won't mess up anything else. We should have... 
stone brick coming in to the point where a train could pick it up now. Fantastic. Oh, this is needs a few more stacks. Yeah, it really isn't that balanced using the delivery cannon chests. I should probably... I don't know. I was going to say I should just limit these to keep it balanced. But considering the time and literal energy that goes into sending this stuff, I don't really want to do that. The mass must flow, indeed it must. Okay, so I've got like 34 stacks or so more stuff I can take. Uh, what should we take to space? I could take more cryonite. I think we've already got enough cryonite rods that it's going to last us way beyond where we've got it fully automated later on. Uh, green circuits. I don't think we've got... There's stone brick on the way now for more green circuits. Uh, I don't think we've got that many green circuits and we might need a few. Oops, there goes my rocket fuel again. Do we have rocket fuel up here? Or how much, I should say. Solid rocket fuel, we have 1.4k. That is probably fine. But now I have to do a walk of shame. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a train. Gimme. Give me a little fuel. Yes. Perfect. Fantastic. Alright, up to space we go. And I don't suppose it's going to keep the uh, stack inserted that's in my hand. Let's just go. Oh, is it ready? It is ready. Um, so just to clarify how I emptied that, I marked it for deconstruction, and then I made a copy of it. Like, I used Q to select this and just shift-clicked one of these on top of itself, so the bots will instantly rebuild it once it's been emptied, once they pick it up. Uh, Hagen Orbit Landing Pad. There's actually more stacks, but I don't care enough. I'd rather keep things moving. Away we go. Beautiful. And we didn't even crash. Uh, and I have life support. That's nice. Okay. So. Uh, we need space pipe. That needs glass, plastic, steel plate, copper. I don't have any room in my inventory. Let's do a shift C. And I want to keep the barrels together if I can. Uh, apparently I cannot. Let's put petroleum barrels here. Take that. Uh, let's see. Glass, plastic, copper, and steel. Where's our copper? We don't have that much copper. I don't think we need that much just yet. It needs to be in a space assembly. Uh, and copper cable. How about I just do this? Fast inserter. Um, 
that's quite slow. But we don't need a whole lot of space pipe, I don't think. Next we need biochemical facility. Uh, space assembly, pump LTS glass. Big electric, heat shielding. And pump. What is pump? Baby, don't hurt me. Small electric motor. I'm pretty sure we have those here. I could be wrong. No, we do. And... Steel and pipe. Or rather, steel and iron plate. Oh, and it's made in a space manufacturing. Well, there's your problem. Alright, biochemical facility. We need two. And I need to handcraft the pumps. We're going to use buffer chests for requests. I'll just manually do these ones until we have the tech. Uh, water, ice. We don't have heavy oil barrels. That doesn't quite make sense. Barrel, heavy oil. No, it's. Oh, we don't have logistic bots yet. Uh, in you go. We can have exactly 50 before they start crashing. Uh, I think we. Do we. Can we handcraft? We can handcraft space underground pipes, but not space pipes, weirdly enough. Uh, how about a thermal radiator? Oh, I forgot to put the pumps in for these two. Or did I? I did. Uh, I need some more space assembly machines. LDS. I can probably turn on my personal logistics now. That'll make things a little easier. Should probably add big electric. Oh, I already have it somewhere. There it is. And we need one more of these. Decontamination facility. Uh, is also made in a space assembly machine. Uh, of stuff we should have. I need more... S I need... 10 space pipe. Oh, this is super slow. Why are we super slow? Because of RoboPorts? What if you remove scaffold? I should have brought solar panels when I came from Nalvis, because we're going to need them here. Uh, what if you remove scaffolding between the underground pipes? You should be able to see the underground part. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite work that way. Or is there no space and it's just black dirt? Uh, no, you can see... You can see space. Um, there's The underground pipes are basically just... Magic. Uh, 
Um, they're a lie, yes. A tog, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, what else was I trying to make? Decon, we're waiting on space pipe for this one. And we've got our biochemical facility. I didn't place that quite right. Lubricant. Uh, let's get some fast inserters into storage. And I think we're basically just waiting on the space pipe now. Oh, I actually need three for this, which is exactly what I have. Yeah, I think it's all space pipe at this point. Alright, I guess I should start putting things where they go. This is blank data card. Uh, we need glass, iron, silicon. Iron plate, silicon. Uh, copper, advanced circuit. Advanced circuit. Blank data card goes here. Uh, green circuit. Actually, let me make this one line for each recipe that we're feeding. And then shift right click, shift left click for this one. Where did my... oh, I put them in here. Perfect. Uh, we need all of our sciences in here. And then... This is going to be a requester for stone and blue circuits, solid rocket fuel. Belt requires LDS steel. And small electric, as it turns out. Let's just ask for a stack of each of these. We will need output chests for emptying this stuff. And then we still need a thermal radiator. Oh, we've got some pipe, only three because we have no power. Um, I don't suppose I can make some solar panels? I can. Glass and silicon. Glad I brought plenty of those. See how much difference a few regular solar panels makes. We need 29 megawatt. Oh, it's because the RoboPort is charging. Yeah, RoboPort... Be thirsty. Uh, we apparently have like 10% of what we need 
more or less. It's going to look a lot different as soon as the rogue report is caught up. And there it goes? Question mark? The electricity bar is still yellow. Electric boiler's kind of thirsty. It looked like we had... This is a weird pattern. It looked like we only needed 5 megawatts for a second there. So when this catches up to the water input... Oh, it doesn't catch up. Oh, when uh, cosmic water is saturated... Which should be pretty soon. We've got 2,000 cosmic water just sitting in the output of this. I think it goes to 2,000. It's still going. It's at 2,030 now. Oh, it's going faster. Well, uh, I think as soon as that stops... We're going to have another 5 megawatt to spare. So we should already have enough uh, solar panels here. Overall, by the looks of it. 3.9k. Lovely. More panels in a box on the ship. Oh, true. Thank you. Uh... Give me that. Yeah, now we're getting into the green. Uh, so it turns out there is a use case for accumulators up here. I think we do have some. Accumulator... Because the boiler is, as it turns out, extremely bursty. So once that is actually saturated, the accumulators will start to gain charge. And when it does activate for just a moment, uh, power would have dipped into the negative. But the accumulators will catch it. Alright, so what else? Uh, one, two, three steel chests. Oh, we need uh, to take this pipe, make our decon facility, and then... What does this stack to? A hundred, let's allow it. And then we just need a thermal radiator. And also some underground space pipe. Um, could I actually get that to happen automatically? That might be good. In a game about automation. Fantastic. And do we need any pipe for the thermo? Probably. I could have sworn uh, it said that we could make this in... Oh, it has to be a space manufacturing. Space manufacturing. And we need pumps again. And just one more space pipe. Give me that. Okay. Uh, copper cable we've got here. And I'm pretty sure the regular assemblers, assemblers on the ground don't queue up a hundred uh, cable like that. Let's have a look. Well, we can't see it right now. Not on this planet. Uh, we have green circuits in the rail network here? I don't think we do. 
green circuits are over here. Yeah, they only go to eight, whereas the space version queues up over a hundred. Interesting. It's actually going to 200, I think. Yeah, that's a whole stack. Okay, then. Uh, we need four pumps. Actually, we need 200 copper cable here. Uh, and four pumps. And that'll be it, I think. Blank data card. Uh, you can have your cable back. And... I guess I don't need to make the bots build that. Oh well, it's fine. Space belt is missing, lubricant is missing, pipe. Can we speed this up? We absolutely can. In fact, maybe I would like to do another one of these. Plastic. Fantastic. Uh, I think we're done with the regular straight pipe, actually. So this just goes straight in here. Um, do I have space belt? I don't think I really do. I have, like, two. We can use this, though. That looks weird. We have another color. Let's go red. I feel like that's going to be less hard on the eyes. Alright. Countdown to completion. We have 12 underground pipes to go, or 6 recipes, I think. Uh, I also need a couple more steel chests. Uh, where are they? These steel chests in the blue... Oh, I see. Oh, they're outside of... No, they're not outside of robot range. I think the... I think the bots prioritized giving me the steel chest over building. One steel chest over here. Okay, then. Uh, we are going to need a recycler somewhere. We get scrap from these two machines. So I think I will put our... active provider here, and that should be the only one we need, I hope. Recycling machine, concrete, heat shield, heat shield, and we can just bot that somewhere, preferably close to these two. What's our rate for scrap? It's incredibly slow. It doesn't really matter where we put this at all. Um, so I think I'll just do that. Scrap. Recycling. Here it is. Iron, copper, stone, raw, rare metals. And heavy oil. 
Uh, well, we know what to do with the heavy oil. And we'll need a container to hold onto those for the moment. Unless I want to make a thermodynamics facility while we wait. Depends how close to done we are. Not that close. Uh, we need more copper. Excuse me. Depends if you feed a stack of copper in. Uh, which? RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, guess I'll do this. I don't remember what things we needed electronic components for. Oh, this was supposed to be recycling. Contaminated cosmic water to cosmic water. And sadly, we cannot have input, output, because it also makes contaminated bio sludge. Uh, well, that's going to come in handy later. So we'll keep a huge tank of that. But we're actually going to need pipe like so. Oh. Oh, we can actually save space pipe by using the longer sections. I didn't know that. Or did that change? So we're really bottlenecked on space pipe right now. Um, are we going to run out of any of these inputs? Yes, we are. That water symbol looks slightly weird when it's this big. Or is it because it's specifically a recipe for melting ice to water? I think that's the case. Right then. Uh, I need a few sections of pipe so I can make this. You can have that back. Actually, no, you can't. Because we have like two or three normal sections of pipe that we need now. And that should be everything. How's our power? Terrible. How's our cosmic water? It is saturated. But we're still... Still needing a lot more power. I did put speed modules in these. They're asking for 1.1 1. 1 megawatts each. That's not really the reason that we're... Over on power though. Let's get some more glass and silicon and thus solar panels. Oh, these are not powered either. That would probably help. would probably help. That's actually more than I'm handcrafting. I'm... I guess I'm not that surprised how power-hungry this is. Our... Oh, we're doing science already. Uh, our lamp is asking for 700 kilowatts. Yeah, we're finishing off Holmium processing. Uh, 
but never mind that. Oh, let's get our one beacon over here. Actually, I'm sure we're going to bottleneck on something. We're barely positive on the space science packs, so there's not really much point unless we can... I, I could put a beacon here, the space science packs would be sped up, but the belt would not. And we're barely positive on belt. So there's that. Speaking of... Uh, if I move this back a couple of tiles... We could put a passive provider here without interfering with science. Pandemonium? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I remember when I was prepping to first go to space, I set up space pipe like 30 minutes early, and it still almost bottlenecked me. Yeah, that sounds about right at this point. Uh, did I not? Oh, I did handcraft this, but we're doing solar panels first. Perfect. And we don't actually need this section of lubricant, but I don't want to delete it. How much does this consume? Ten. Uh, I guess I could do this. Just wait 10 recipes. Why do we have no steel? Wait, are you serious? We have no steel? Uh-oh. How much steel goes into one of these? Doesn't really say. I don't remember needing steel for space transport belt. It's one steel per belt. So one steel for two and a half space science. We should have like thousands of steel here. You're joking. Didn't we have... We brought a thousand steel by rocket earlier. Uh, okay. I can get another thousand steel quick fix by emptying this and sending the rocket from Nalvis again. We'll get a whole bunch of stuff we don't really need yet. But I guess I'm okay with that. Especially since it'll include stone... Um, no, don't put the concrete back there. Another rocket pad? Yeah, uh, but I need steel to make the rocket pad. We got a little catch-22 there. The amount of steel that we're going to get from that delivery is going gonna, is gonna to be the entire landing pad. Oh, you meant rocket pad. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm just trying to figure out what I can fix before we actually go anywhere. Um, I guess give me some more storehouses. Or strong boxes. Ah, uh, that's spending what steel I'm carrying. Item on ground, get out of here. Okay, how much steel do I have? 70. Uh, that should probably be enough. Let's stop this research. I think we might have enough for logistics. Maybe. 
Did I put steel in here? Oh, that's where it went. Okay, I definitely want to spend the minimum amount of steel on the rest of this. Uh, I can't even... Why is there space pipe in here? Bad. So it's one steel per pipe. And we need five, uh, five steel per underground. And I think we're just one underground short from being finished here. Or one pair of undergrounds. There's actually three undergrounds not built. Wait, does it make one at a time? Oh no. That means the co It's ten steel for one underground pipe? Bravna. That's like half of our remaining steel. Kind of. Not really. Machine learning data. At least I don't think there's any more steel cost in uh, utility sites. Plastic. Okay, I'm back. You're winning. Uh, somewhat. Sigma Bean, thank you very much for Tyrant these. 45, fantastic Rexy Awaken. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, thank you very much for the six months. Much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Sound effects nerfed and also TTS. Sound effects nerfed. Uh, do you mean the Tyrannosaurus roar? Is it a bit quiet now? Okay, I might have to play with that a bit. Alright, well, we've only got one recipe for our thermal rea uh, radiator. Uh, I forgot we need a requester for iron and copper. We've got exactly one buffer chest left. And this is our last... Um, underground space pipe that we need. Give me back that precious, precious, precious steel. And put a requester over here. A tad low on volume. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think it was because I dropped the volume of OBS because something else was too loud yesterday. Alright, we'll try that. Aziz light. Aziz light? Is this a test message? Still quiet? Uh, I'm a little scared that whatever I was trying to fix yesterday is going to be too loud. But I'll crank that up a little Remind bit more. Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Are we good? Uh, all right. So machine learning data is waiting on thermal fluid. Polished data needs silicon. Oh, I didn't actually put silicon in storage yet. And we have a few more solar panels to place. Tower is actually good now. Fantastic. Uh, Alright then. So I think we are Barely. Let's 
barely going to get what we need for logistics system. Uh, we need heavy oil over here. I think all of the barrels are already in this chest. And bots will not move things between buffer chests. So we do need to put these away. We don't need a whole lot of heavy oil for this, I don't think. Oh, we kind of do. It's uh, two and a half times ten thermofluid per barrel. Twenty-five thermofluid per barrel. Chemical gel is looking for petroleum, uh, which it... Wait, what? Oh no, chemical gel saturated, 4.9k. Uh, we just need a space pipe here. Let's do it here, it'll be a bit more visible. And that just leaves sulfur. Which I have, but I didn't put into logistics. And let's just bump that up to a stack. Alright, there's our first thermo fluid for the entire playthrough. And it's already halfway done to negative 10 degrees. That'll be our first nothing, actually. Uh, cosmic water needs to come over here. Which means we need either pipe spaghetti or to barrel it. Considering how expensive the pipes are for steel, which we don't have enough of here, uh, I'm almost tempted... I could empty this and send another thousand steel, along with all the other stuff. I think I will do that. But it takes a hundred steel for each storehouse. Wow. No wonder we ran out. Less organized here now. Uh, we should have enough room to make this happen. Probably. Where can we fit some sulfur? Almost there. Okay, totally empty. I definitely could have sent the cargo a little sooner than that, but that's fine. Hagen Orbit, a thousand steel among other things. Uh, go. Is this going to fill up before we get our cargo sections? I don't think so. No, it can't. Can you recycle barrels to steel? Uh, yes I can, that's a good point. And we are getting some glass this time as well. And blue circuits. It's not going to be in the same ratio as what we consume, but... It'll help, to say the least. Okay, so we need cosmic water to find its way up here somehow. Um, if pipes were longer, it would be really easy. 
Unfortunately, we can't use regular or steel underground pipes in space. Um, let's put this over here. And I could have done this, actually. Cosmic quarter. That's not great. almost oh uh, maybe yeah we can we can squeak through here that that's really inconvenient let's just do this instead and I think I will put that back Hey Mikey, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we need to waste a bunch of our steel on space pipe again. Uh, do I have a requester lying around somewhere? Requester chest. I do. And we need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 3 pipe to make this happen. Uh, actually, the bots will auto place the 3 or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just make 60 so we can turn that into underground. Okay. Uh, so we have our... Oh, we might want to not go too far making the science, actually. Uh, let's say less than... How much do we make in one go? Five. Uh, less than six. Because I, because I don't want to spend all of our steel on... Actually, I don't think it takes a single bit of steel to make... Uh, utility signs. Oh, it does take space transport belt, which takes one steel. So, yes, we should limit that anyway. Uh, I want to do the same thing with utility. At least for now. It's also just sensible to make sure we don't overfill this. Uh, where's our blue circuits? As far as I know, this is the only input for those. Uh, rocket fuel, stone. As long as there's a bit of room left over, that's fine. So it's blue circuit, stone, rocket fuel, right? Yes, perfect. Okay, how's our pipe coming along? 16. Oh, there's no copper cable. I forgot. Um, copper cable... And just shove a bunch of it in here. Where is it coming from? Oh, that's storage. Wait, we're not out of copper, right? Well, there's definitely more in here.
Alright, do we have the power to throw in some speed modules? We do. Uh, just barely, actually. I think that was the ice being melted. Should be able to see it on usage back here. Oh, it was a robo port? No, it's the biochemical facility. Huh. Okay. Um, we eventually want a requester chest here for scrap. And I'm not even going to worry about... Uh, actually. Let's do some filter inserters. Oh, I've already got some. Iron, copper, stone... And... Raw, rare metals. And heavy oil goes back in. We'll deal with the smelting a bit later. Actually, if it doesn't cost steel, which it does, the dynamics facility can go next to it. We could maybe just use a crafting combinator to switch up those recipes. We've got our rough data storage substrates. We just need cosmic water up here. I think that's it. How much pipe do we have? We are 13, 12 short. Soon. Soon we will have utility science. And enough stuff up here to get the logistic system done. I think. Uh, if it costs... Let's see. One steel per space belt. Uh, one steel per two utility science pack. And one steel per... F two steel per five space science packs. Uh, it's a bit more than one to two overall. So we need 125 steel, uh, or like 130, 140 to make, to get this research done. We've definitely got that much lying around. I put it in storage, didn't I? We've got like 500. Not counting what I have here. Cool. Did we get our pipes done? We did. Uh, oh, we do have a requester chest. Wait, how did this not get placed? Kind of weird. Uh, anyway, let's get our space pipe. Where did they put it? This one. One. How long does it take? Uh, ten seconds for every section of space pipe. So it's going to take a whole minute to craft these last few. King Fnerd, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, I almost forgot to add some logic here. 
to prevent overfilling uh, this. Also, no, that's fine. Okay, so we're basically just going to say if there's any thermofluid in this storage tank, stop putting ingredients in for the thermofluid. Are we actually already out of heavy oil? Uh, that's a concern. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it into lubricant? Um... Can we maybe re-barrel some of this? To take it up to the other one? Fill heavy oil barrel. Uh, where'd the barrels go? Uh, a lot of places. Give them back. Did I forget to have input-output for this? Do we still have lubricant barrels? We do. Quite a few, actually. Oh wow, that's why. That's where our heavy oil has gone. Jeez. 5.9 thousand lubricant sitting here. Uh, did we bring up coal? We could do some liquefaction. I have... Uh, <laughs> I have one stack of coal. It's something, anyway. We do get... 10 scrap makes 10 heavy oil. Oh, it makes one heavy oil. Yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, how am I going to fix this? Bring this over here. Actually, there's no room. I'm just gonna put down another container. And then pick these up. And deal with that later. Um... Did I not make the rest of the undergrounds? I did. Let's let the bots place them. Alright, there's our... Blank data cards. Which means that's our... Uh, machine learning data. Which means that's our first utility science. Any second now. Are we not... Are we not outputting the scrap we got? Okay. How am I gonna... manage that? Pretty easily, actually. One more polished, and there's our first 
Hello? There's our first blank data card. There's our first machine learning data. Oh, this needs a filter. Otherwise it'll take the machine learning data. Um, okay, how about we redo this while we're at it? If we can. So we got scrap from these three. I don't th think there's another tile where all of them can have access to the same thing. If this was here, then we'd want it here. Yeah, no, we need two chests, don't we? I believe so. What a mess. Okay. Uh, purple chest here. But it needs a filter. God damn it. Alright, fine. Uh, another chest down here. Filter out. Scrap. They all need filters, actually. So, put that there. Scrap. And scrap. You have scrap, I think, indeed. Good day, get it done. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why are you building so small in space? Not enough stuff on Hagen yet? Uh, basically. I'm building the smallest build we can get to get utility science done, mostly so that we can get logistics. Um, but also, the amount of things that we can get before we need yet another type of science is not a whole lot. So it really does make a lot of sense to just throw this together as small as possible. Um, until we can get space rail, which is actually just a very small amount of energy science. Uh, in fact... It's just 50 utility science and 50 energy science. Um, then we'll start building bigger. But for now, this is it. How much power do we get from one of these? 111 kilowatts. Well, it could be worse. Not by much, though. It's actually about as bad as it could get in orbit. Oh, this is it. We are researching logistics system. We did it. Alright, so once that goes through 250, not counting production uh, productivity bonus, which is... Uh, 18%. Um, so we need 211, actually. Or 212 to get that done. Fantastic. Passion, uh, passion Sausage. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then we can actually put uh, bot chests here everywhere, so that we don't have to... ...do any more of this manually, we just bring resources. Uh, let's get another recycling facility. So we can recycle the steel from the barrels. Where is it? Uh, barrel to steel, and we're 
going to need a chest for that. Gonna need a couple of chests for that. Just a passive is fine, I guess. But output. Fantastic. I hope we won't run out of heavy oil after we turned it into 6.9 thousand lubricant. Uh, for our thermo fluid, that is. We do only lose 2% of a thermofluid for each cycle here, so it doesn't take much, but we don't have much. We really are desperately low on oil on this side now. What have we got? We've got 600 cool thermofluid. And 49 becomes 50. Oh, sorry, 50 becomes 49 whenever it gets cycled. So we lose exactly one thermofluid every time we use up 50 cool thermofluid. And this is 5 plus 20. Uh, but we need four machine learning data, so it's 40. Uh, so it costs a bit less than one thermofluid to get uh, four utility science packs. That's actually incredibly cheap when you think about it. Uh, if we don't look too closely at what goes into thermofluid. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's definitely going to get us to uh, logistic, uh, logistics, I think. Is it possible to cannon from Nalvis to Hagen orbit, or is that too power hungry? Uh, we're already cannoning from Nalvis to Hagen, and it is too power hungry. Uh, that's why we had to slow it down. You see all those uh, spikes in the power system? Uh, those are from delivery cannons recharging. Uh, so it looks like... Okay, if... Oh, steam turbines are doing their thing at night. Uh, how much steam have we consumed? Half of it almost. Alright, that's enough of that for now. And we'll check in on the power network in a day or two. And see... Uh, see if it's tanking the recharge on the delivery cannons, or if we need to slow them down a bit. I actually halved... I, I actually doubled the rate of delivery cannons twice, or I would have, um, but I didn't realize that I had to change two combinators. Look at how little our wind turbines are doing. <laughs> I mean, we do have a huge solar network here. And the rail network isn't that big. Okay. Uh, so we're 10% on logistics. What now? Come back with more steel? Uh, I guess we need to look at getting production signs going. I have a very rough idea of how much utility signs we've got before we need to... resupply. Uh, wow, there is really, really very little... Is it literally just logistics? Logistics system? Is this the only th new thing that we get just from utility science? I think it is. Oh no, they're down here. Okay, that's that makes more sense. 
Ooh, Power Armor Mark II. Um, yes, please. Wait, uh, we're going to be using thruster suits all the time. What about, what level of thruster suit are we up, up to? Thruster suit 2 requires material. Uh, what's the grid size difference? 6x6 six six versus 8x8. Eight eight. I think that is worth losing a bit of jetpack thrust. And built-in life support. Oh, speaking of which, could have been consuming my life support a bit slower. Uh, yeah, eight by eight power armor would be. Well, I was gonna say it would be much nicer for attacking the biters, but then I remembered we have we had to turn rampant off. Uh, so biters aren't really. That much of an issue. I'm not overly concerned about them right now. I've used up half of my life support while I've been around, uh, standing around here. Uh, what else? If I look at the research tree from here, does time keep moving? It looks like it does. Fantastic. Ooh, we have... that takes material too, and energy too. Oh, energy. We don't actually need to go to a new planet for this, I think. Uh, that's going to be a lot, though. We've got Holmium on the planet. Significant data, energy catalog, energy insight. Uh, can we even make significant data yet? We can't. Oh, we have to research energy science. That's only a hundred utility science packs. So we're definitely going to use our precious little utility science on that. Uh, Military 5 gives us a heavy rocket launcher. That sounds cool. Uh, let me look at it from here, so we're still researching. Worker robots... Be oh, wait, where are we? Oh, this doesn't... Yeah, no, we don't have the same research tree over here. I could unresearch things until we're back to exactly where we are on Nalvis, on a, in our main save, but that'd be a bit of a pain to figure out. Uh, let's just browse it over here. Rocket survivability, reusability, cargo safety, tool belt, railgun. Oh, we don't have the prod science yet. Artillery range. That's expensive, though. Personal Roboport Mark II. I think this will be the... Ooh, personal portable Immersite solar panels. That might be good. How much power do they get? 384 kilowatts versus a million? 2.4 megawatts. Yeah, there's no comparison. Especially considering how slowly this thing consumes uranium fuel cells. Um... Advanced additional electric engine. I didn't know it went to tier 3. I'm not too worried about that just yet, though. Hypercooling 2, we just straight up need sooner or later. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what I'm going for is logistic system, personal roboport, uh, but not before energy science. Oh, it's got more prereqs. Space Science Lab. Optimization tech card. Immers. Oh. Oh, that's going to eat up some steel. 
I don't know if we have enough or not. In that case, I'll go for personal RoboPort first, and then, then we'll go for Energy Science. That's actually got oh quite a few prerequisites that need Utility Science. Okay. Uh, and then Lab. Hello? What else are we missing here? Particle accelerator, laser facility, and then energy catalog one. Yeah, it's actually quite a few researches before we unlock energy science pack one, but that's okay. I'm pleasantly surprised that we don't actually have to get production science packs before we get energy one. But with the amount of time it takes, we may as well look at getting an outpost on Granus. It's waterless. I very much doubt it, but I don't suppose we have Vulcanite on a planet that's not waterless. I'm guessing that is... A 0% thing. Oh, there is Vulcanite here. And it is not waterless. How about that? It's actually smaller than our... It's slightly bigger than Hagen. How many biters are there? 0%. Uh, well... That might be easier. How much of a problem is waterless with our current tech level? Probably no problem at all, considering we made our home base Hagen, so we have an infinite supply of ice. Uh, yeah. So there's that. There's also lots of coal here. I'm primarily concerned with what we can get from core mining. Um, we will need to coal mine mineral water at some stage. Feels weird having iron and copper core fragments in the home system, although the iron is on very, very small uh, planets. Hagen has ice? Uh, yeah. Just not directly. Uh, you can make ice from... Where did I make that build? Here it is. Uh, from cryonite slush and water. And we have infinite cryonite here, so... So you could say Hagen has ice. Twenty percent on robots? Uh, how would we make an outpost at this stage of the game? It'd have to be cargo rockets, obviously. Uh, and I think I would probably... I eventually do want to try just... Oh, actually, we can test it right here. Uh, pulverizer? Super speed module. This is with 0% productivity bonus. Where's our super speed modules? Here they are, somewhere. Uh, fill a infinity chest with core fragment. Uh, Vulcanite. And that, oh, whoops. Vulcanite. Uh, just make it completely full. Do not remove unfiltered items. And we're just going to... How many stacks is this? 
Uh, 2,000 divided by 20. 100? Yeah, 100 stacks. Okay. And here we have 512 stacks. Uh, super inserters. Power. And core fragment processing vulcanite. It also lets us transport fluid as solid if we don't process it on planet. Um, but let's add a fluid container. What, 10? Alright, so without any productivity bonus, core fragment vulcanite goes from 100 stacks to... It looks like it's about the same. So far. Went from nuke fuel to energy beaming. <laughs> nice. Just had a jump when I started getting alerts on a Biter meteor planet and found out it ran out of fuel. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? 60 stacks? And we've used up 58. It's... Oh, 48. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Uh, doing the... Uh, even without productivity bonuses. Which are gonna add a lot. Because, especially because multiple steps of, uh, processing. Um, because we're processing two vanilla core fragments. And then stone to whatever, and so on. Um, it's really not adding that many stacks to move it as core fragments. So I think we'll do that, even from the beginning. Makes the outpost much more succinct. Uh, we've got 30, 138 stacks from our 100 in, not counting that the vanilla core fragment stack here is less than half. Okay then. And also, we got a whopping 400 pyroflux. Although I'm sure we're going to get a lot more pyroflux out of the vulcanite itself. But we didn't have to transport this uh, fluid with barrels or something. So for vulcanite in particular, I think starting by transporting core fragments is going to be by far the best method. Uh... I'd rather not expend the energy to try to figure out which resource we're going to run out of first up here. I just hope that... No, I do want to wait until... We're 30% done. I, I want to wait until we've got... Logistics research so that I can replace these with requester chests. Um... And some of these with purples. So that way it'll go until it runs out of resources, not until a chest runs out of something that I have to put in there. Uh, also, also, junk data cards should have a junk data card output. Let me move. Uh, so this is utility science pack. This is junk. Uh, actually, I'll just do this. So I guess we'll do a bit more planning while that is researching. Or I could come back here. Where am I going to go while we wait, though? Is there anything else I should pick up from Nalvis Orbit? 
Uh, kind of, yes. Very yes. Alright then. We'll go on a little trip. Uh, let me just throw a bunch of this stuff into the logistics system. Should probably keep that on my person. Wind turbines, Lamel. Keep the life support. Okay. Uh, that can stay. That can stay. And. Doesn't actually make a difference if I remove that chest. We've got plenty of chests back at Alvis Orbit if I want to come back with more. Alright, let's go to this orb. But first, how much? We have 27,180.8. Uh, let's say. Ion stream. 27,108, I think. 27,180. Okay. We're going to see what it costs for a return trip. Preferably without adding more containers for Nalvis Orbit. But we'll see what how much stuff we want to bring back. Oh, and while we're at it, let's do uh, some automation here. Speed 20. And clamp ID 1. Uh, that's using right clamp to left clamp. And that'll just automatically clamp when we get back. Apart from the ingots, what are you going to use Pyroflux for? Uh, I don't know. There's definitely a few things. Ingots are great though. Uh, they're five times the stack density. Uh, we do need Pyroflux for... Oh wait, right click. Cheaper glass, uh, ingots, we can turn pyroflux into a tiny amount of matter and also power, I guess. Don't think I'll be doing that. I guess if I was processing on planet, I would do it this way. So we don't have to take fluid back with us. Uh, solid rocket fuel. Don't think I'll do that. We need it for iridium ingots, I'm pretty sure. We need it for molten beryllium holmium. That's weird. Ingot. Uh, iridium ingot. There's only one recipe. Holmium ingot, coal, sand, holmium powder, or molten holmium. Okay then. And we obviously need it for naquium, but we're not worried about that just yet. So I guess pyroflux is technically a nice to have until we're trying to make uh i don't think we can make plate out of anything but ingots right with these that's how it was last time 
yeah. Uh, we do need pyroflux to make holmium and iridium ingots, and probably beryllium ingots. Wait, no we don't. Holmium ingot. I think uh, for iridium we did. Iridium ingot. Yeah, we do strictly need pyroflux for iridium. Every, every other recipe is a recycling one. So it's not like you could play through without pyroflux. Uh, but for now, technically, it is just a nice to have. I was worried that I would get too much of the stuff. I guess turning it into power is a last resort. Yeah, there's, there's worse ways to avoid something that you've got too much of. Alright, so now that we're in motion and waiting on research, uh, we should do some more planning. Um, so I think what I'm going to do... Oh, we've got zero biters on this surface. Fantastic. Beautiful. Oh, and unless we count the biters that are in the mysterious structure. Is that our first? It is our first. Uh, unless you count the stuff on Alvis Orbit. Um, okay. So, it's pr a pretty small surface, right? 2,000. We may as well scan it. It's not going to add too much time to the save file. We can always trim it later. I guess we can't do core mining like we used to, so we can't have just a tiny little base in the middle somewhere. We're going to have to have trains bringing core fragments across the entire planet. I might uh, just go for some really lazy custom spaghetti for the rail. I don't know, I'll probably end up having some regrets if I do that. We should at least do, like, a, a proper rail highway. You only need two core mines anyway. Uh, we may as well go for as many as we can get. Well, not as many as we can get, necessarily. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of solar panels... Which are going to give us quite a lot of power on this planet. Right, let's have a look at what we've got around the middle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten-ish core mining drills. That is well and truly uh, beginning to get into diminishing returns. We need nine... Uh, it, it's uh, a square rule, so... We need one, uh, four, nine, sixteen, and so on, uh, to get the equivalent of one, two, three, or four, four mining drills. Um, I haven't tapped in Imasite yet. We do have that on Hagen. You haven't noticed the decreased benefit for each additional mine? Yes, I have. I just talked about it. Uh, so we do have uranium here. We could use that for power. Oh, there's no water. How much of a challenge is the fact that it's waterless uh, at this stage? Not much. If we're going to use solar panels, because it's nice and close to Calidus. 
it's not that much closer than Nalvis. Um, but even so. We, uh, we're either going to send ice so that we can do nuclear power. Or lots and lots of solar panels. I seem to remember having to spend a, a significant amount of time placing solar panels. I mean, they are nice and zero maintenance once they're done, but considering just how powerful nuclear power is um, with K2, like, this little thing has a max output of... What's the neighbor bonus again? I think this is... 2 by 2 is 1.5 megawatts. Uh, sorry, 1.5 gigawatts. Uh, and this is all it takes to to get all of the heat out of them. Uh, it's it's incredibly easy compared to vanilla. We don't have to worry so much about heat pipe dropping off with the uh, transmitting the heat and so on. I just started the stream. Fair enough. Night dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but, yeah. I think we'll... Hmm. It's a pain either way. Which pain do we prefer? The question is how many solar panels would it take to get what we want? Uh, considering what we want is probably nine, um, four mining drills, which I'll just double check. I think they only take 25 megawatts, uh, for this, for this version. It's our drill. There's one. 25 megawatt. Okay. So nine times 25 meg. That's not the calculator. Uh, 225 megawatt. Really? That's so small compared to what our nuclear plant can do. Like, our small... I, I'm never going to do a one by a, a single nuclear reactor. Unless it's, like, in a spaceship or something. Uh, because it's just way less efficient. The neighbor bonus isn't as big in K2, but even so... 1.5 megawatt for this, uh, which can consume, it doesn't really say, probably needs to have fuel in it at the time, a rate calculator. Uh, we need to drop down to 5k steam before it'll put more fuel in. I wonder if we're full up on... Yep. We're about to stop mining uranium because we don't have coverex. So we kind of need to hurry up a little bit. Uh, we do have... We have a decent amount of U-235. Oh, that mine is actually mostly empty as well. Huh. That worked out pretty well. Like, these were actually ratioed amazingly well. Not that it was... In uh, something I even tried to do. Uh, but yeah. I'm thinking nuclear power, even though we'll have to come back after we've got Coverex done to set it up properly. Uh, it depends how many solar panels we would need. Solar percentage is actually only 112% of Nalvis. So... We get like... I think it's 80% overall, approximately. So 80 kilowatts times 1.12. 89. Let's just call it 90 kilowatts. Uh, and don't forget we need accumulators as well. Uh, 225 megawatts divided by 90 kilowatts. 
Um, so 2,250. Was it 2.25? Yeah, uh, 2250 over 90, uh, that can't be right, must be another decimal, there's no way we only need 25 solar panels, if we only need 250 solar panels I would be shocked, I feel like I must be missing some serious scale here, uh, this is kilowatts, 90 kilowatts? 2,000 kilowatts is 2 megawatts, right? So this is 22 megawatts? 225 megawatts. We would need 2,500 solar panels. Uh, 50 stacks, which we can easily send in one rocket. Uh, and one of these blocks gives us 32. So, like, uh, about 80 blocks like this. Uh, what's the square root of 80? About 9. If it's, if we have 9 by 9, of these solar panels, it should be enough. That's actually not that severe. That might that might be a lot easier than messing around with uranium while we don't have coverex. I think I would like to do solar panels this time. But I almost forgot we need uh, media defense installations as well. Um, so that's like... Preferably 10, I think, would just be just about safe. Uh, so 10 megawatt times 10 is 100. So that's like 50% more. Now I'm leaning towards nuclear. And that'll give us plenty of slack, and we could go, like, 12 media defenses. Um, 40 megawatts. Oh, it's only 5 megawatt? While it's sitting idle? Even so, that's, like, 25% more solar panels. I don't know, that might be that... N might not be that bad, actually. 225,000, not 2250. Yes. Um, research stalled? I don't think so. I think it's just kind of slow. I mean, it's one machine. Oh, no. There's no power? Oh, no. Wait. There should be some power. Some of it doesn't have power, including the RoboPort. Uh, but luckily the RoboPort has charge. Because it, it, the reason is it was depending on the substation from the, uh, from the spaceship. Okay. Alright. Good catch. What about the water? Uh, we would have to ship in ice. Which I'm just going to use a cargo rocket for. We're not going to need cargo rockets very often uh, if they're full of ice. But I don't want to... I don't know. I could do a more complicated cargo rocket like I've done before that sends multiple resources. The trouble with those is either... It needs to have empty inventory slots, or you need to really go to some trouble to fill out the rest. Um, I think what I would do is check 
how many media defense installation ammo we have. And maybe bots repair packs and so on as well. Whatever we need. Uh, and then just fill the rest with ice. If we reach a certain threshold for how much we're requesting, then we start loading a rocket. And then once we've put in however much for the other things, we'll fill the rest with ice. That might be the way to go. But then we'd need a mechanism to not end up saturated on ice so that we can't send another rocket. How far are we from our destination? Two and a half minutes still. Okay. Uh, but yeah, short answer, ice, which we've got in infinite supply from Hagen. Uh, speaking of Hagen, I see belts moving. Oh, oh no. Uh, do we have a chest here? I forgot that I wasn't going to stay there. Hmm. We could steal this chest and put it here. And I forgot, it's not scrap, it's chunk data. Junk data card. Fantastic. Okay. That should keep it moving. Fantastic. And I thought we had arrived because it looked like we weren't moving. All right. What else can we figure out while we're in transit? Uh, so I think we will have our base in the center of things, where we've got the highest density of core mining drills. We will have a cargo landing pad, a cargo rocket silo. Uh, I don't really want to do rail blocks on an outpost, There's, because I want the absolute minimum on each outpost. So it, I'm thinking we'll have like, uh, where is it? I'm thinking we'll have our uh, highway going north-south and we'll just branch off from that. The throughput to each ore mining drill should be low enough that that won't cause any issues, I think. Uh, we'll probably just use vanilla trains on this surface. So we don't need a... Well, we are going to need some kind of train depot, sort of, because we need them to get refueled. But besides that, uh, what I really like with this snapping the uh, snapping. Oh no, that's not right. Oh no, oh no, I did it wrong. Uh, remove ghosts. I think I rotated it. I think I used the upper slash left one when I should have used the lower slash right one. 
This is because of the snap two not being able to be in the dead center of the rail block. Uh, but yeah, I could actually just add a depot like this. Oh, I love that. That is, that is cozy. Actually, it looks like it's slightly off. How is it off? We should probably start with the rail block. And then figure out how to snap the highway to it. Okay. We'll start with our depot so we don't have to redesign that. right up next to the center, but not overlapping any mines. And then, I guess it's on the left, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We got there eventually. No? Why does this not snap? Maybe I misunderstood when I made these. It's actually just two above. But that's the lower slash right one. Upper left is also two above. So can I just change that? Uh, y offset six? Or oh, no. When it's rotated, it'll be like 22 or 26. It's 26. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then we'll do our uh, cargo rocket, cargo landing pad. Oh, here we are. Cargo rocket, cargo landing pad, and so on. Uh, in the middle of the map. Alright, so what are we taking back? Uh, big electric motors? Chests? Steel? Absolutely. If we've got some. Beryllium plate. Ice? That's a lot of ice. Um, concrete? Don't know if we're going to run out of concrete there anytime soon. Do we have any steel here? Steel plate. We do. We have quite a lot of steel. Or at least... Yeah, we've got thousands. All right, that's good. Uh, I definitely care about the steel more than the big electric motors for now. Give to me the steel, please. Fantastic. Take the... Oh, wow, we had 30 of these lying around. Uh... Priorities, priorities. Blue circuits. Big electric motors aren't that easy to make, but I've got so many of them. They also require steel. I I, I think I kind of overcompensated um, compared to last time. Oh, we have one of these lying around. Fantastic. Give me some insertery goodness. You will use them all soon enough? Yeah. 
but I, th I think compared to last playthrough, I overcompensated taking lots of big electric motors to space. Uh, it definitely wouldn't hurt to take iron. I think we'll probably add a couple more chests this time to our ship. Lubricant, we need that. Do we have more lubricant lying around here? Nope. I'm holding all of it. I like how it outlines me with a two by one. Uh, let's put these in here. Inserters, probably. Solid rocket fuel, we've got lots of. I really, really want to prioritize steel. Can we speed module this? I think I saw some speed modules up here. 47 speed twos. Didn't know I even had those. Alright, that should get through these barrels uh, relatively quickly. Alright, we'll wait till that's done before I decide how much I can fit of everything. Actually, it's one to one, isn't it? How much steel is this going to be? 900 or so? So it's like one more row of stacks. Okay, so what about big electric motors? Small electric motors? Uh, we don't have logistics here, so they won't steal from my trash slots. Inserters, why not? Telescope. Don't think we're going to run out of... Our pulse construction pylon wouldn't hurt. Anything in here that's not easily replaced? Vulcanite block? Heavy oil? Request chest. 96 space pipe. That would have helped. Uh, space platform. Chromium accumulator. Not really worried about speed ones. Give me more inserters, not land belts. Storage tanks, that's a lot of inserters. Oops. It's probably fine. Uh, I don't think regular pipe helps us that much. Well, it does turn into pumps, which we need for some things. Whatever. How's that steel coming along? Uh, maybe I'll come back for this at some point. We're going to come back here eventually anyway. I could barrel... Make like five more barrels of heavy oil that worried about it. And second thought it would be incredibly easy to do. Heavy oil barrel. And it's gone. Literally five. Uh, I 
it's hard to say no to like 750 more steel in Hagen orbit before we have to summon a cargo rocket though. Maybe a little concrete just in case. I think we've got lots of advanced circuits. Uh, may as well recycle those. I already had one in my inventory, so it doesn't add a stack. Steel things. Uh, may as well bring the chests. We're actually taking almost everything I could possibly want to take back. If not all of it. Without even adding more chests. Alright, I think we'll wait for this and we'll do a bit more design. Let's have a look at Hagen Orbit and make sure research is still working. Uh, it is not still working because we don't have... We're out of iron. Are we actually? We've got 391 iron up here. Um, how about filter inserter here? I run plate, and I'll definitely crank up my value of iron for this trip back. In fact, I think we'll spend a bit more iron stream. In order to get that done. Even more iron plate. 50% iron plate uh, alternating with plastic looks very confusing. You will need uh, steel? Yes, that's the main reason we came here. Uh, Schnunsky? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. So we're going to wait on another... Um, 600-ish steel here coming out of the recycler before we go back. Did you have enough inserters? Oh yes. I would say so. I think we will, that is. Uh, I think we already had enough inserters in uh, Hagen orbit, but we will definitely have enough inserters for a few minutes. Uh, may as well take the drills at this rate. Give me that iron plate. Give me those power poles. This is actually utterly luxurious at this point. We're hardly going to leave anything back here. And I will just add another chest. Don't care about scrap. I'll hold on to the combinators since we're going to have extra room. Uh, come to think of it, I guess there's literally nothing to drill in Hagen Orbit. Um, but on the other hand... Oh, wow. Oh, were we low on copper? I think we were low on copper. Yeah, we're low on copper. 
at this rate, I might have to make the ship bigger. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's just go back. I want to see how much a round trip is. Well, it, it it's going to be a rough idea because we changed the container stress. But back to Hagen orbit. Away we go. Now then. As for Uranus, I kind of like that name for a gravelly planet. Uh, we will have... We'll probably use this for input-output. Have a cargo rocket silo here-ish. Landing pad here-ish. Roboport. So the cargo rocket silo is just going to export core fragments. We could also have one to export vulcanite. Uh, oh, there's iridite here as well. That's very tempting. We do need sulfuric acid to mine iridite, um, which is just a little bit of a pain. I should change control one to Hagen, that's our main base now. Uh, I'll have that point at the mall. Uh, let's see, Oop. that's not what I wanted. Date pin position, control one, Hagen. Beautiful. Does this still have lubricant in it? Huh. Okay then. What was I looking back at Hagen for? Good question. Oh yeah, sulfuric acid. Um, so the number of steps we need to take for that is we need iron plates, sulfur... Maybe it'd be better to send it in barrels. We need barrels for... Uh, we, can, we can recycle the steel from the barrels to make delivery cannon... Uh, not delivery cannon, uh, media defense. Uh, I think I still have blueprints from my last playthrough for our outposts, but I don't remember where they are. Uh, but basically we had like two delivery cannon chests, would receive like six or seven resources, uh, which would be enough to make media defense installation ammo, and delivery cannon capsules to send things back. Uh, I don't think I want to use delivery cannons to send back um, core fragments though. As much as I don't love cargo rockets and dealing with all the logistics therein, uh, a single delivery, a, a single cargo a single delivery cannon capsule to send 20 core fragments is a bit much. Um, I don't mind the sacrifice of... What was it? Like 20% stack size? Density? Um, until we have prod modules by sending the core fragments back unprocessed. Uh, I, I'm willing to bear that cost for keeping our outposts simple. But... Uh, I think we will be using cargo rockets. 
to send the core fragments until we have spaceships. How close are we? 14... 15 minutes until we get to Hagen. I didn't realize it was so long. Uh, okay then. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely send sulfuric acid barrels for mining. Mining consumes almost no sulfuric acid, right? It's really just one more logistical step uh, that we need to take in order to get it to happen. It's only going to show the drills that are working. Uh, our current rate 12.75. We've got 34 drills consuming 12.57 sulfuric acid per second. Uh, that's like a quarter of a barrel. Hmm. I think it's going to be about the same rate of consumption for sulfuric acid to mine iridium, right? We can actually check. If we go to our editor place, we can paint down some... Uh, some ores. Here it is. Resources. Uranium. Can I make that bigger? Uh, iridite. I don't think... Oh, beryl. I think beryl needs uh, sulfuric acid. And we'll just put these next to each other so we can, like, compare them. Uh, let's see. Drill... We're going to be using electric mining drills for a while. I think we need prod science to get big mining drills. Yeah, prod science. We need to get our vulcanite for that. Uh, so. I'm pretty sure it's only ever sulfuric acid that we need. To drill resources. And let's get some power. That's a big power pole. Here we go. And. Alright, so. Which ones aren't working? Oh, these three are trying to get uranium? Uh, whoops. I'll have to move those apart a bit. Can I... delete that? Brush. Uh, lamp tile. That's not working. Resources. How do I delete resources? Good question. I know there's a way, I know I've done it, but I don't see how to do it right now. Alright, let's just put this up here then. Uranium. Uh, iridite and beryl, I think, are the only ones. Oh, and aquatite, probably, but we're not too worried about that right now. Alright, so drill two. Cannot. Electric mining drill two cannot even mine it. It can't mine. Iridite, either. 
Huh. Wait, we need a big mining drill to mine iridite? Since when? Was it like that last time? Oh, Beryl doesn't need sulfuric acid. I could have sworn there was... Maybe it was only iridite. Out of the exotics. Does Holmanite require... Sulfuric acid? No. It's just uh, these two. Okay. Well, I guess we need a, a big mining drill if we're going to compare uh, their consumption rate of sulfuric acid. 0. Point oh, uranium is way faster. Uh, 0. 0.02 per second versus 0. 0.5 per second. It doesn't matter how many uh, tiles are available. It'll go the same speed per drill. So this is 50 times. No, uh, 25 times faster at consuming sulfuric acid. Which means... I guess I didn't need to actually give it sulfuric acid to find that out. Well, it, it basically means that we're not going to have too much trouble by... If, if we want to mine iridite over here, uh, sending sulfuric acid by barrel isn't going to be too bad. And we're going to need to do that anyway, because we need to make batteries on site to feed delivery... I, I always call those delivery cannons. Uh, media defense delivery away from our base cannons. Uh, so we need sulfuric acid to make batteries, iron and copper, steel, electronic circuits. Uh, the ammo uses 10 steel plate, and we can prioritize consuming the, uh, the steel from the barrels effectively. But if we're constantly consuming sulfuric acid for mining, theoretically we could end up with a bunch of steel, but I seriously doubt it's going to be a problem. Cyclomactic, welcome back. Boggles was correct. It is just iridite, other than uranium, that consumes sulfuric acid. Uh, Alright, so I think we've done most of the planning that we can actually do before we get there. Other than making a shopping list, which is everyone's favorite part of outposting. Uh, we do have a little bit of copper, tons of iron, coal... We can probably make whatever we need if we forget it. It would be preferable to simply not forget it. We are going to have to tap crude oil uh, for the rocket fuel, which makes the waterless planet more of a problem than it would be. Uh, I think it's fine to send ice by delivery cannon, actually. That'll simplify things. Two hundred ice is a hundred times that for water. Um, and that's just one delivery cannon capsule. So I think we send... Uh, we were already planning to send ice for the nuclear power. 
Uh, we'll probably send it by cannon. Which means we can use the local oil to fuel our cargo rockets. And from that point, everything's pretty normal, I think. How many hours is this playthrough now? Uh, six days, two and a half hours. Let's see how ha uh, Hagen Orbit is doing. Are we stuck? We are missing iron. Wait, I thought we... Oh, we already used up that iron. Wow. Alright, well, we are heading back with a chest full of iron, so that'll help for at least five minutes. It should be enough to get logistic system researched, I imagine. Four iron per rough data storage substrate... And that's the only thing it's needed for here. As far as I can see. So that means 25 rough. And this is one to one, right? 25 data storage substrates per stack. Uh, and we need four per blank data card. And this is one to one. We need 16 times 4. 64 iron to make 4 utility science packs. Uh, so 16 iron plate per utility science pack. Not counting the productivity bonus. Uh, we need 42% of 250. Uh, 105 times 16, was it? Uh, we need 1680 iron plates, ignoring the prod bonus, to get this research done. So, yeah. Uh, not that surprising that it ran out of, like, 500 or so. Only 140 hours for Logi chests. I mean... They made it so that you can't get them on Nalvis. It's really nasty. Five minutes out until we get this uh, probably resupplied to the point where we'll get our Logi chests. All right. Where are we going to put blue circuits? I think about here. Green, red, blue. And get that out of the way so we can get our iron mine done. Whoops. Why isn't it? There we go. And down here as well. Uh, what else do we need? Or what, what else can we do while we're still in transit is what I'm really thinking. Just three more minutes to go. Well, probably four minutes, considering we're going to get slower as we get closer. Uh, I guess it's just as well that I came here, uh, came back to Nalvis Orbit for Iron Plate. Since uh, the research wasn't going to be able to finish with what we had up there. Concrete is looking healthier than stone brick. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah, we wanted to check in on Nalvis to see if delivery cannons were firing too often. 
based on the fact that accumulator charge is full, I doubt it. We are getting through the night. Uh, we can see from the curve of the accumulator output there. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good rate uh, that we've set the delivery cannons to fire at because of power constraints. Can't you make rough data substrate on Hagen? Uh, yes, I believe we can. Jakubaz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's the green building on the green circuit block rail loader? Uh, it's a delivery cannon chest. Uh, and the reason I'm using that is just because it's a 3x3 three three chest. So if you put a chest close to a bulk rail loader or unloader, you'll see like a yellow inserter looking thing. Uh, basically, the invisible inserters are going to take from or put into uh, a nearby chest. And it's not quite perfect with the balancing, but it's mostly good enough. Uh, it's definitely good enough when we're outputting from the bulk rail unloaders. Um, it's questionable. It depends uh, when we're doing it from... I mean, it's it's so much neater, though. It, look at this. It's like two entities to get this loaded up. Zura, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Automate solar panels while waiting. You need loads. Uh, you'll need loads in time. Yeah. Oh, we're here. No, we're not. I forgot. I set it to clamp. So we'll know when we get there. I like that, yeah. Uh, depending on how we want to do the balancing, uh, what I've done in some places with slow resources, uh, if we're going to allow short trains to pick this up, is I've limited the, uh, the bulk rail loader at the front to 40 stacks, and then we just belt from here to here as well. So we're going from having the capacity for eight train loads plus whatever this is. That's a half train load. Uh, we're going from eight train loads of capacity in our storage, which is frankly a lot, like a lot, a lot, to what? Um, four and a half. But I think that's fine, actually. The only reason this doesn't work in all cases is uh, some resources we have high throughput, so one belt from here to here isn't going to be enough. I guess we could always just... Now that I think of it... Um... Oh, that fits perfectly. We could do this with four belts of output, and the only real, the only sacrifice is storage space, which we've, as I said, we've already got four and a half train loads here, five if you count the uh, delivery cannon chest. So then this will be available for short trains or long trains, without any fancy circuitry to rebalance it, which means UPS could. Nobody's, uh. Nobody's LP. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I will make that my standard. And for faster things, we'll just add more belts. I can't believe how well that fits. It's a nice change from not quite being able to fit a huge storage tank here and have the pumps go directly from the fluid wagons. Although that's only really important if the throughput of the fluid is incredibly high. Though I am surprised how much slower it is dropping off fluid uh, if we have 
uh, one, two, three, four, five pipes between the pump and the huge storage tank compared to zero. Uh, but if we really care, we could drop it down to two sections of pipe between pumps, which is going to go a lot faster. Belts don't connect properly. Oh, I was just illustrating it. Um, I wasn't actually going to build that. Where was it? Yeah, I removed that. Uh, I know that we're either going to have to go there physically to put the fast loaders in, or I need to copy-paste one that's already an input. Awesome boys. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're here. And we brought iron. Uh, let me in. Let me in. Okay. Uh, let's drop off our copper down here. And iron. Why don't we just put it in here? Insert is going to take care of it. I'm not going anywhere with this spaceship for a minute, so those chests can probably stay where they are. And that's our science moving again. I think. Fantastic. How are we doing for thermofluid? We still have 612. Make that 611. 612. Um, it's not great, but... Well, this will help. Give it some copper. Why was it not... Oh. There's 1.4 thermofluid in here? Okay, maybe I should have set this to, like, greater than 20 or something. How much does this use per recipe? 50. Okay. Let's say if there's more than 50 in this tank, uh, we can stop making thermofluid. Where's our sulfur? We've got the sulfur. Oh, no, it's here. It still thinks there's thermofluid in here? What is it reading? Huh? Oh, it's false if there are no inputs. Okay. If everything greater than 50. Well, there's your problem. Okay, so basically if there's any thermofluid in this tank, we're going to stop making... Thermo fluid. And that puts us up to 700. Well, we've got lots. Oh, not that much. We actually already used up that heavy oil. Okay, I really wish the uh, editor extensions lab would work with stuff like cargo rockets. I guess it just doesn't put it down because if we tried to target another surface it might crash or something. Otherwise I'd be designing our next outpost. Or well, I guess it's really our first outpost since we made Hagen our new main base. We don't actually have an outpost. Also, let me grab this and put it in here. Uh, I guess I'll make a few more storage. It does cost... It's only 
15-ish. It's a bit more than that. It's like 25 steel. For storage here. But on the other hand... Uh... I really don't want to leave stuff in the ship. Or in the cargo landing pad, for that matter. Oh, we have more than that? Uh, I think I made two met. Nope, wait. Nope, we're good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Copper can go here. Heat shielding. Shift C. Grab all of that. All our steel, many inserters, concrete, where's our concrete? Uh, never mind. Steel, concrete, processing unit, sure. We got 200 space platform plating if we want to use that. Me all the inserters. Uh, we got some lubricant as well. And maybe I do want a few space assembly machines in here just in case. Storing this. There we go. Beryllium plate. Uh, just put it wherever. But try to keep it together for the most part. Why do we have polished data in here? Get out. And. Inserters. Space pipe and storage tanks and a strong box. Okay, let's turn on our requests again. Fantastic. Is research still moving? Uh it should be. Oh, we overfilled this. Wait, how did that happen? There's not even... Oh, did Shift C put stone in here? I think that's what happened. Lamel. Yep. Uh, probably. It did reach all the way over here when I used it just now. So if I was just a little bit closer, it would have put the stone over there. Also, we want to keep that empty for the most part. Okay, so what's our shopping list for Grenis? Uh, approximately how much rail have we planned out so far? Let's double it. Probably more than double it, actually. Let's say 7.5k. Do we have a combinator? Lying around here? No, we don't. Okay. Let's use this one. Or. Yeah, we're finished with this. Oh, no. Uh, I, I deleted the record of how much Ion Stream we had. I think we used roughly a couple of thousand. 
So we have like 10 trips left or more with this. All right, rail, we're looking at 7,500. Uh, cargo, rocket, silo, cargo landing pad. I think we could probably make train stops when we get there. It's just iron and copper, basically. Then again, we only need like two stacks. Uh, let's just send iron and copper instead. We can mine it when we get there as well. We will need signal transmitter and probably receiver. Which needs something advanced. Big electric motors and processing units. Just have to make sure I have those in my inventory. Uh, inserters, of course. Hardly need to be reminded of that. Actually, we won't need that many inserters. Because we'll be using... Bulk rail loader and unloader. If we do the temporary mines, we're going to use loaders for that. Delivery cannon chests. A stack should be plenty. Uh, signals. I think we can make signals on site. Uh, the stack size for chain signals is not great compared to how many we need. And it's just iron and copper, which we've got more than enough of on planet. So we won't worry about that too much. Uh, what else? Belt? We'll definitely be needing some belt. 1k should be more than sufficient, I imagine. Since we're trying to keep our outpost to a minimum. Uh, nuclear stuff. That's going to be a bit of a nuisance. I think this stacks to one. Yeah. What is our A2 nuclear blueprint? Two stacks of heat pipe. Uh, only one stack of exchanges. And steam turbines. Uh, 160. That's a lot. It's a very precise number. We don't want to put this into the cargo rocket. I'll hold on to those myself. What else? Steel underground pipe. We should be taking that without even thinking about it anyway. Uh, let's say 250. Bunch. Uh, I'm not going to worry about iron pipe. We can make it when we get there. We can make steel as well, but I would prefer not to need to. Steel pump is something that I'm just going to be carrying regardless. That actually goes for steel underground pipe, but we could take some more. Oh, we have rail signals. Oh, right. I forgot I reactivated my personal logistics. Yep. 
get more of this stuff when we go back on planet. Uh, keep the inserters, keep the pipe, keep all of it. We'll turn the rail into space rail. Just, just take it all, actually. Uh, I might keep the whole meme accumulators on spaceship. And we don't actually need drills up here. Or wind turbines for that matter. Seems good. We're up to 82% on logistics. Very, very nice. As soon as it's done, we'll swap out some of these chests and be on our way. Oh, and we'll also need to... Add a requester there. Actually, we already have it. I forgot. Empty barrel. Uh, we need to turn... Can I actually do it this way? Copy, paste. Come back here. And... No, I cannot. I could make an upgrade planner. We should be able to... Mark those steel chests to be turned into active providers. We're not dropping off oil here anymore. Uh, I kind of forgot to fix this. And I guess we'll need to... If that was... Whatever. I was gonna say, if that was where steel barrel processing was, it would be very convenient. Oh, we do have a couple of barrels here. Providers to upgrade to. Yes, there it is. Fantastic. We're actually about to run out of the tech cards that I put in because I only put in a stack of each. Although, no, a stack wouldn't quite be enough now that I think of it. We're not doing military at the moment, but whatever. Uh, rocket. Tech card. Get in there. Fantastic. What are we waiting on? Utility science. Which is waiting on this machine learning data. There we go. Okay. What else are we going to need at our new, at our first outpost, really? We've got delivery cannon chests, uh, cargo landing pad and rocket silo. I'll probably be carrying robopods anyway. Uh, maybe I should make sure of that. Rainbow ports, uh, rainbow chests are going to be standard stuff that I carry. Or if not rainbow chests, then steel chests, red circuits, and green circuits, so that I can easily make those. Um... I'll definitely want to use a big container, make an autocrafter over there, to smooth out the gaps of things that I forget 
or don't anticipate. Uh, did we finish accounting for... We need large storage tanks. Let's make that one stack. Uh, accumulators are sort of optional for this build, and solar panels are not really optional. Uh, we are going to need not that many solar panels, actually, because we're going to build nuclear. But the more solar panels we build, the further our nuclear fuel is going to go. We'll definitely want accumulators to power manage the mining drills in case something bad happens. And make sure we have enough solar panels to support the media defense installations. Which would be uh, 1200 megawatts. No, 120 megawatts. So, call it 90 kilowatts each. Uh, that's about 1300 solar panels. Let's call it 1500. Which is how many stacks? But that's not a Why do I keep thinking that's a calculator? Uh, 30 stacks of solar panels, that's not too bad. And we should probably just take the same number of accumulators. Even though the ratio won't be as severe. Well, let's try to calculate it. Our close enough blueprint. Uh, for solar panels on Nalvis. Uh Is 32 to 28. Uh, 46.88 times 28. 1312. Alright, let's call it this many stacks. And I'll definitely set up a system that's just going to automatically supply all of this into a cargo rocket. When we get back down to Hagen. Now that we've got logistic bots, like, properly. Oh, it's going to be glorious. I can't wait to design uh, an autocrafter that uses a big container. And we'll do... Ooh, we could do eight of them in parallel around one big requester chest. That seems like a good idea to me. Or maybe we should make it a buffer chest so that... No, I think, I think the products should go into active provider chests and put where they belong. It'll make it take slightly longer for anything intermediate to get where it's going, but I think that's okay. Uh, I could probably start designing that right now, to be honest. So, it's gonna look like... Big requester chest. That way we're not gonna have to worry about overflow. If we just don't request too much stuff, there'll always be some space here. Uh, we're going to do eight smart assemblers. Actually, I don't know if we can fit them, or at least not with perfect radial symmetric, uh, radial symmetric uh, symmetry. Because we need the crafting combinator as well as... Well, I was going to say as well as the inserter in or out. 
but we're not going to do an out that goes back to here. Uh, so yeah, we can do our crafting combinators like this. Uh, overflow chest position behind. Empty insert of hands. Uh, probably don't need to discard fluids. We're not going to do anything that needs fluids here. Or maybe just lubricant or blue belts. So it's going to look something like this. Uh, we're going to use the robot network to check what we need. Should probably have like... Do we have any other options for roboports yet? I don't think we do. I think there's like uh, mini roboports later or something. Small roboport. That's a nice fit. I don't think we can get information out of it, though. Yeah, no, we can't. How many charging things does this have? 8 times 3 megawatts. That sounds pretty good. As opposed to 4 times 1. Wow. Definitely going to be using these around the build later on. Um, but for now, I guess we'll just have rope ports wherever. We will be needing to read from the robot network, or the logistic network, uh, to check what we've got. Filter out anything that comes out as negative because the bots are moving it around. Uh, constant combinators are going to have positive values for stuff that we want to craft. Oh, and we're going to need a... we're going to need this as a negative. So we're subtracting what we've already got from what we want to have. times negative one. Output each. Each greater than zero output each. Fantastic. Once we've got all of that, uh, I sort of forgot we need three combinators per crafting combinator if we want it to pick like the first eight recipes that we're trying to make uh, in parallel. I'm not going to bother making them all craft the same thing if we're down to, like, less than eight recipes. Uh, but I do have this uh, blueprint right here that shows how it works. So we've got a bunch of signals here. Uh, goes into anything greater than zero output, anything input count. That picks just one of the signals. That goes to here. Let's give it some power. Uh, and then we take that signal that we picked out of the list, multiply it by negative one, and subtract it from our list, basically. And then we repeat that. Over here we've got each times one just so that it's a one-way wire and it keeps the... I was going to say it keeps the signal timing the same, but that's not true. Uh, the negative one signal will take a bit longer to get there. But the real point of this times one is literally just as a one-way wire. Um, so yeah, these three combinators need to keep repeating. Uh, to separate out our signals from our list. I don't think you can do it with fewer combinators than that. 
we didn't get the dupe a dupe. We got our research. We can make uh, we can make proper requester chests now. Fantastic. Steel chest. Uh, sorry, we need steel concrete, steel beam. Where's our steel? Concrete? Uh, there's too much stuff. Steel beam. Steel. Red circuit, green circuit. That's red and green. Not circuits. Okay. Uh... Really? I can't make... Big Requester? Seriously? We need a hundred... Oh no. We need another hundred... This... Oh, that's just rude. No. How dare you. We need another 100, 300, 700 to get to request a warehouses. Well, I hope we have it. I think we do. Uh, we can make the purple chests at least. One, two. Request a chest. Request a chest. Purple chest. Research tree is trolling you, right? I can't believe you've done this. That much more research for something that's just a little convenience. Like, I could accomplish the same thing with smaller chests connected to these chests with a couple of inserters and logic. Uh, I just need the 2x2s two and we can be out of here. Uh, but now that we've got something to focus on while we actually build that, or wait for the research rather, oh, uh, we're still missing a couple of Active providers? There we go. Let's get in here so we don't waste our life support. Alright, so we just need uh, like two of these to become blue chests. I guess there's really no need for this one uh, to be a blue chest. Uh, to be a 2x2, two two, rather. So we're literally waiting on just this. I guess I could do it without it. All right, science red, science green, science military, science blue, science rocket, and then oh no 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 stop 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 bad how dare you uh, put the stone in here. Uh, long arm inserter. Inserter goes here. Check the robot network for space science pack. Make sure it's zero. Make this a passive. Same thing here. And 
and then request a chest goes here. Okay, make that a bit more. Oh wait, we don't need to request belt. Okay, I think that's it for this place. I think we can finally leave. As soon as I drop this off. Uh, I guess that should be a green chest, actually. Since it's possible that I foolishly walk away with the sides. Give me some of that steel back. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. Okay. Let's find the rest of those cliff explosives that I think we have here before we go. No, nope, it's just me. Nice. All right, back to Hagen, I think. Uh, that can be a purple chest, actually. So we might actually be able to send another rocket here one day before coming back. Uh, and I was about to send our spaceship back to Hagen, but that would be bad, actually, since it would never be able to take off again. Just leave these space things in there. Grab some solid rocket fuel. And... Back we go. Uh, I may as well leave some of this stuff here. Costs more fuel to bring it with us anyway. That's still 30 fuel, really? Okay. Back down we go to Hagen. Right next to our mall. Nice. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to focus on this autocraft to build right now. So we're going to have... Why don't we go clockwise from the top left? We're going to have anything to here. Hopefully do it like this. Whoops. Uh, I guess instead of doing any dynamic set requests, um, I'm just going to request everything that we could need, but not too high volume into the requester warehouse and have it close to storage in general. Uh, so then we need this repeating. Where are we going to fit it each time? We need to do it twice per quarter. Hmm. 
Hmm. We need times negative one going to the next. Why don't we do it on the outside so it can be consistent? Times negative one going to the next one of these. That actually might make it easier to see what's going on. And then... It's not quite symmetrical. All of these are going to look... Something like this. And then this is in the way. Genius. Can we move this over? And then times one parallel to this goes to the next times one parallel to this, but also the input goes there. Uh, so... The input from the last one... Why don't I put it here? Or how about this? That might be easier to follow. That might be a lot easier to follow. Uh, but we don't have it for the first one. And that red wire goes to both of these as well. And we could do it like that, but it'll be less readable. So, like this. Wait, what? Oh, right, I moved them. And this goes... So the times negative one. We don't have a times negative one up here, do we? Yeah, the times negative one is between them. So, like here. And then to these two. And times one goes to both of those as well, but on a separate wire. I think that's it. We shouldn't need as many for the last one, because we're not going past here. So that can just stay where it is. Alright, so... This can go here. That's going to go there, which is going to look a bit weird. Can we swap these around? goes here. I think I like that better. Uh, green output from that only goes to the crafting combinator. Red wire goes to the times negative one.
It's actually starting to look pretty neat. And I think I'll put the times negative one down here. Uh, and it's going to connect to both of those. I'll do that last. Okay, so times negative one like that. I think we're missing a times one here somewhere. The first one has the source go straight to the times one. Okay. So this goes like that, I think. Yes. Yeah, man. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What kind of monstrosity are we making here? Uh, it's just a crafting combinator uh, auto crafter, but I'm doing it in a nice circular pattern around a big requester warehouse. Uh, so I've done this before. It's just keeping track of the wiring is a bit uh, trickier than usual. Alright, so those are going to look like that. Don't need that one. Uh, and this goes here. And this goes here. And... Okay, times negative one, times negative one, times negative one. And so on. Seems good. And then I think the last step is this wire that just keeps going across. Just an autocraft, <laughs> indeed. Uh, so it goes from the times one to both of the next two, but not to the times negative one. I think that's right. And then to here. Alright, let's find out if it is correct. Uh, we need eight recipes. Uh, and let's get Crafting Combinator to respond quickly. Iron stick. Iron plate. Oh, that's not. That doesn't go in assembly machines. Uh, what does go in assembly machines? Single cylinder engine, multi cylinder engine, small electric, big electric, flying robot frame, and copper cable. Looks like it's working. Fantastic. That looks pretty cool. Yes, I am a fan of this. Uh, so, I think I'll just... Oh wait, let's put this here. And just for the look of it, move that over this way. That's much neater, I think. And we can have our list of stuff that we're going to craft in this general area. All good. Nice. Uh, so I haven't had a, 
I haven't added any prerequisite rules or anything like that. Um, which, frankly, I don't think are going to be necessary if we're doing eight recipes in parallel. It's going to be very hard to deadlock this. Like, let's say we tell it to make belts. Gonna do all the yellows. All of the blues. That's not all the yellows. I mean, all the reds, rather. Um, so it's trying to make the loaders before it makes the belts, which if we only had one assembly machine is going to be a problem. But because we're just doing all these in parallel, one of the machines is going to be making belt while this is trying to make loaders. So it's not going to be much of an issue. So we probably won't need... I say probably. Uh... I mean, we'll eventually definitely need to have some rules in place, because when we had six of them uh, for crafting stuff in space, last playthrough, we did actually run into some issues where it was possible uh, for it to lock up, or at least take way too long. But I think uh, combining this, doing a bunch of recipes in parallel with our... These are all of our prerequisites. Make make sure all of these needs are met first before making all of these. Uh, we shouldn't need any special rules for multi-tiers of prereqs uh, once we make this. And that'll be neat. Alright, let's blueprint this sucker. Uh, crafting combinator and a blue warehouse is pretty indicative of what we're doing here, I think. Um, Octo Crafter. Beautiful. Uh, eight times parallel auto crafter sharing static requester chest. Nice. And let's put that in crafting combinators. And I can't wait to make it. What are we researching right now? Logistic strongbox. Uh, so we don't have the 2x2 two two chests yet, sadly. But it looks like we will soon. Hopefully we will not run out of iron plate or whatever. It doesn't look like we will. Before we get our 700 research to get to... Logistic warehouses. Fantastic. Alright, with that, I'm going to take a little break. Uh, after that, I think we'll start putting together a cargo rocket uh, that will fill up our shopping list to go to our next outpost automatically. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't like how the pipe is always disconnected when we're not doing a recipe that needs lubricant here. Speaking of, I could definitely add lubricant pipes. Uh, I didn't really leave room. Yes, I did. Uh, we could add some lubricant pipes here, I guess. Uh, 
They're not all connected, but each side is. Should be fairly easy to sort out. Uh, so that it can craft blue belts. There's not, there's not a whole lot else that needs fluid that you craft in a assembly machine, right? Not stuff that we put into the mall anyway, for the most part. Uh, but yeah. Let's see if there's any trains to look at in motion. I don't think there are. I think, at least on Hagen, everything is completely backed up. Uh, saturated, that is. As in, satisfied. Oh, we do have a train in motion on Nalvis. Let's leave the screensaver on that one then. We'll fire up some words on stream. We're continuing at level 7. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Oh, whoops, I started it already. My bad.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Sorry about accidentally starting words on stream too quickly. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, we just finished designing our next autocrafter. Uh, unfortunately, the science for it is lagging behind a little bit. Uh, we do have 2x2 two two storages now, at least. For requester chests. It looks weird. I, it kind of made it look like we didn't have storage chests for the 4x and 6x, but it's actually active providers that we don't have them for. Alright, I think I'd like to do a separate block, or at least a separate, like, quarter block, for requesting all of the stuff that we're going to put into this cargo rocket. Because I'd like it to be repeatable. Can you do it with the 2x2 two two and then upgrade it? Uh, I could. If I were to just use, like, two assemblers in parallel, I guess I could do it like this. Uh, how many inventory stacks is this? 512. And this would be 96 times 4. It wouldn't be that much less. Yeah, I, I guess I could do that. Uh, but the... Hmm. I think I'm going to do a static 50 logistic bot build uh, for these cargo rockets. Oh, we need to resupply. Let's go pick up whatever the bot network has to offer us um, that we've got accumulated over here. Fridley, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kanda Jr., welcome, welcome also. Crazy Heather, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Uh, alright. Bots are still bringing us stuff. We should... Oh, right. I was gonna say we should have assemblers... Seriously? We've got 199 electronic circuits in this... Okay, how fast is green circuits? It's less than one belt, otherwise we wouldn't have built it in this shape. Uh, I think we will add our... Oh yeah, we do build red belts over here, that's nice. That helps. Still got some blue belts to go. And the bots have gotten one out. Uh, I was going to say the mall is busted. We need to do something about that. But also, I wanted to copy what I did with... Uh, low. I was going to say low-density structures. Rocket control units. Um, we're going to push things to the storage at the front but limit it to one cargo wagon. Uh, since we only have one belt of output, we only need one belt here. And we're going to allow short trains to pick this up as well. Bots are done bringing us stuff. And away we go. Oh, I don't have any bots. Uh, I need... 50, well, probably not 50. Preferably, f let's see. Uh, I could actually do 60 construction bots with this, but I don't want to go over one stack. 
for only 10. Uh, 50 construction bots. Give us some logistic bots so that we can drop them off whenever we do uh, make a new robot network. I need some roboports. Electronic circuits and small electric motors. Uh, sorry, red circuits and small electric. We don't really have those here. Just give me the rest of those undergrounds while we're here. And... I think that'll mostly do for now. Okay. How's our science doing, I wonder? Still chugging along. Fantastic. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, red belt. Because I didn't have bots for construction, that's why I came back. There we go. I'm going to make that layout my standard now. What delivery cannon did we just receive, I wonder? Alright, let's see what the problem is here. So, it was making express loaders indefinitely. And I think it's because once we get to all of our other quotas, um, it just starts making out of these, uh, whichever one comes first in the list, in the arbitrary order of item ID. Uh, so I guess it's... no, that's not right. Because then it would be making loaders, as opposed to express loaders. So there must be something uniquely incorrect uh, with how we're doing... with how we're doing the logic for express loader. But I've looked at this over and over. Um, we, we've just copied the logic from... From the other builds. So I don't know what's going on there. What if we just turn this off? What 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 will it try to make if I turn that one off? I'm guessing red loaders, which seems to be the case. Yeah, we're at 50 red loaders. A mod to auto sort the chest would be helpful. Uh, yeah, I've actually downloaded that, I just haven't got to putting it in. Uh, I need to make a backup before I add any more mods. don't want to take any risks like that. Um, well, it's working as far as I know. It might take a minute to show us how it's not working. It was that time of the month I received ads Tyron 45 Ono. <laughs> so sub is in order. Nucleo Mind, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Three months. Thank you so much. Uh, I need to tweak that volume as well still. I need to somewhat redo volume in general, I think. Uh, okay. Now... It really is going to be a while, assuming that we've got everything we need for that 700 signs. I think I should probably make the new autocrafter, as suggested. And where is it? Circuits, autocrafting, octocrafter. Uh, we need a roboport. Small electric, steel beam, and advanced circuits. Steel beams should be in here. Fantastic. And we'll need some power. 
and we'll need a tragically small requested chest. A uh, strong box requires steel plate, which should be in here. We'll need to have trains dropping things into the robot network. That'll make overall storage a bit simpler. I guess I could have uh, strong boxes through here, filtered for the most common basic resources. That might actually be good. We've barely got fewer st uh, stacks of whatever here. Logic doesn't depend on a big chest at all. Oh, I can't quite fit the lubricant if I do this. Well, I could move the combinators a little bit. Or I could just have slightly fewer chests. I kind of like this layout, though. Hmm. I think it would have to be these combis that get moved, right? I guess that's not bad. We need how many more? Uh, seven more of these. Advanced circuit. Why is there like one advanced circuit in here? No, there's 2.6k. Where are they? Oh, scroll. Scroll down. Okay. Alright. Uh, we need steel. Presumably. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, and we're going to need some nice, big, juicy assembly machines. Concrete and big electric motor. Concrete is not in here. There it is. And steel gear wheel. Oh, I had it for a second there. Oh, give it, give it, give it, give it. There we go. Uh, what's next? Blue assembly machines. Which I was hoping to find here. And instead I found 1400 express loaders. We do have 67 assembly machines, though. Um, before I do that, let's turn these into assemblies. And then... Iron gear. And then small electric again. They really... get consumed fast. Uh, I guess I could have shoved it back in here instead. Whatever. What was I looking for? We need assembly twos, which means we need assembly ones, which means burners. Oh, we're making the assembly ones. And the assembly twos, actually. Okay. Why can't I... Oh, I see. Alright, give me eight of those. And... That'll do for now. We'll need eight crafting combinators. That blue, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. 
How was your stream today? Mythos, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're going to need some substations. Right about here, I think. As is light. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got plenty of stack inserters, at least. And then we need a few active provided chests. Uh, where's our substations? Do we have them here? We don't even have regular substations. Oh, no. Uh, I can make a few. And then give me some lamps. We don't have lamps, really? Uh, alright. Give me some glass. We've got like 120 glass. Uh, what do we need? Eight lamps? We're fine. Modded Factorio? Let's go, indeed. Stream went well, but ended up being a little short, finished up at uh, the end game for Captain of Industry. How goes the Factorio? Uh, pretty well, actually. We just designed a uh, an auto crafter that is well. I was going to say is, and then I was going to say was going to share one big requester warehouse. It would have a bit more space um, for all of the common inputs or rather I, I think i'm actually not going to bother with the uh uh with the recipe combinator this time we might even because we would need eight recipe combinators here for the different things that we want to shove into this request a warehouse i think we'll just have static requests for whatever goes into everything we're trying to craft here um, but yeah, uh, using Crafting Combinator, I'm doing eight uh, assemblers in parallel, making whatever it is we are wanting to make. Uh, something I've done before, but I made a nice uh, circular shape for it. Uh, and we're just getting that set up now because we've only recently got, despite being on two different planets already and two different planet orbits. Uh, we only recently unlocked uh, the ability to make our very own requester chests uh, because we needed us utility science packs for that. And now we're working towards being able to make bigger ones. Uh, I've got the tiniest science build I could possibly come up with um, for the moment. Because what I want to do is burrow my way straight towards uh, Space Rail. And then we're going to build rail blocks for everything. It's only 50. Uh, so, like, once we get any energy science packs, we've got this. But that's uh, actually getting there is another matter. Sheep say meh, thank you very much for the prime sub, much appreciated. Six months, thank you. Uh, we still don't have power here. There we go. And we're gonna need a bunch of constant combinators. Is this still not powered? There's no logistic network because the bot is, the robo net, uh, port is still charging. There we go. Alright, we are going to need lots of constant combinators. Uh, I think for now we'll just do it like this. Uh, don't put those down automatically, please. Actually, because I want these ones to definitely be done. Okay, so... First thing, 
it's generally a better idea to do the manufacturing stuff, the uh, intermediate products, somewhere other than the auto crafter. But what the hell? Let's uh, let's test it. Still haven't decided if I'm doing another vanilla or modded in my next playthrough of Factorio. Uh, what's your current run through been like? Let's go with. Actually, I do want to use the prerequisite logic uh, that I came up with last time. So let's do that. We're going to have our prereqs on this line. And that's going to have both red and green wire on it. The red wire goes to a times negative one. Why don't I just copy this? Because the constant combinators are facing the other way. And then that goes to, uh, if everything greater than zero, output 1p for prerequisite. And then if P for prerequisite, output all of this. And I might just make the form a bit, a bit better over here. Uh, let me put that down here. Actually, that's not right at all. The logic flows in this general direction. Focused on getting the highest UPS slash FPS I could, managed greater than 40 with a 7 RPM base. Uh, 7k slash 7 RPM base. Haven't loaded it up in a while, but I did a vanilla. Okay. Uh, I mean, it depends on the machine, but that seems good. Alright, this is going here, I think. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That was... that was wrong, actually. Uh, this is going... to our crafters. And so is this. And... I need more constant combinators. Give me some copper cable. Fantastic. Alright, so everything that does require prereqs... Uh, goes to there. And then we need P negative 1 on a constant over here. So that when it passes P through here... We don't have this crafting combinator trying to set the recipe to P. Which doesn't do anything. Fantastic. Alright, I think we've got the exact same set of stuff that we were trying to craft before. Uh, but we won't need all of these extra rules in place because I think just having eight machines going in parallel will get around any extra prerequisite problems. Probably eight machines in parallel would get around just about any prerequisite problems by itself. But, yeah. Uh, and then... And then, and then, and then... Uh, why don't we turn this old one off? Uh, we need to put all of this stuff into the robot network. But we don't have, like, a 610 uh, size container anywhere. So, I think... Uh, I think what we'll do instead... 
How many different types of things do we have here? Six, seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got 50. Uh, we should easily be able to fit... Why don't we do it like this? This will this will be kind of budge, kind of simple, but it'll work. I'm just gonna put a storage chest in front, uh, behind a uh, filter inserter. Oh, we only get four filters. Even so, it should be fine. Actually, that's only going to put a little bit of something in. I kind of want to whitelist the first things it picks up. But then whenever it's empty, it's going to... Can we set a whitelist so that... I don't suppose there's a way to set filters whitelist, but have it unconditional if it receives no signal. That would be very convenient. Use your 1400 loaders, <laughs> indeed. Um, my idea was, like, if we pick up these five things and set whitelist to that, then we're going to have a chest with just those five things. So we're going to find room for everything. Uh, 610 over 48. Is 12.71 chests. You know what? We could just do 13 chests for each of these. That would be pretty easy to make sure. Um, where are my fast inserters? Over here. Actually, I should have used stacks. Can I make one of these? Yes, I can. And then we're going to have to change how the trains bring these things in. Which is to say, stop requesting entirely for now. Make some more storage. Give me those green circuits. And I was going to set filters on these 13 storage chests so that we get like the most common 13 uh, products that go in stored in this general area. Um, so we could go like iron plate, copper plate, steel plate, do I have any of these so we can visualize it better? Um, we're going to need some lubricant sooner or later. Whatever, let's just get this working first. Um, request a chest. We're just going to start adding whatever's requested by these. Oh, wait. If we don't do any static requesters, then we're going to have to have... Oh, that's probably fine. We've got 96 stacks here. Are we really going to have 96 different things that need to go in? Don't answer that. Okay. 
Ein Gear, ein Beam Transport Belt. I do like a bit less than a stack so the bots don't overfill it. Because if they overfill every single stack, it's going to add up a lot. Well, it's literally going to double the amount of space taken up. Uh, I think the biggest cargo bonus we ever get is three. So uh, they'll carry three things at once. So if we set that to 97, then we won't have any troubles. Uh, iron beam. Yellow belt. Maybe these should be buffer chests so that this stuff can be available uh, to me. Maybe not. Uh, iron stick. What else? That should be enough to get this started. Do we not have... Oh, we have no Logibots yet. There we go. Iron gear is on the way. Uh, why didn't I make these active provider chests? Uh, never mind. Uh, what else could we need? Single cylinder, inserter parts. Inserter parts. Small electric automation core. Automation core. Iron stick we already have. Uh, don't forget the inserters themselves. Any that are prerequisites, that is. And I'm sure stack inserters will end up... Well, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about the superior inserters this early. Uh, steel, we've got electronic circuit. Oh, we don't have steel. What am I saying? Uh, iron plate, copper plate, steel plate, electronic circuit, advanced circuit, uh, processing unit, And steel gear wheel. It's down here somewhere. So why are we not making this yet? Because we don't have enough iron gear wheels. Uh, which is why? Shouldn't iron gear wheels be in the prereqs? Oh, they're actually not. Oh, because I was receiving those from the rail network. That's why. Alright. Let's make sure we have a hundred of those before we try to make this stuff. Uh, is the prereq system not working? Is it not connected, that's why. So that goes straight to here. Alright, so it should switch over to the prereqs, which actually does include loaders. Or rather, um, 
belts, I was going to say. Why are we not switching from fast loaders? That's weird. I don't think the prereq thing is working. Oh, did I connect that to the wrong thing? Or did I simply not connect this properly? I got confused as to which combinator was which over here. That doesn't go to the main thing at all. It just goes here. Okay, so now we're doing all the prereqs first. Anything not crafting? Doesn't look like it. Copper plate. We haven't re we have requested copper plate here. Uh, apparently we don't have any in the robot network because we simply haven't gotten to. Uh, it would probably help if we didn't steal all these ingots. Let's go with blacklist ingots. I could make the crafter deal with ingots as well. But for the moment this will be easier. There's our copper. Still got some copper ingots here. Fantastic. Okay, more bots? Uh, might do. I don't have any bot swarm safety yet, so I don't really want to go over 50 logi bots. Once we get all the chests closer together, um, I'm just going to set some of these as active providers one by one. Oh, we're going to take it over here. All right, then. Uh, we need another 13 active providers. The sooner we cut down on the bot travel time massively, the better. I don't think I queued up enough. Uh, yes I did. In fact, more than enough. Okay. That seems to be going well. Uh, let's get some speed modules in here. I don't think I have more speed 2s on planet. I think I left them in orbit. Because I stole them from Nalvis orbit and I didn't bring them back down. Yeah. Uh, how easily can I make these? I need solid fuel. I don't know if I even have solid fuel somewhere here. Yeah, I don't think I've made a single solid fuel on this planet. So we'll deal with that a bit later, I think. Uh, we should definitely change... Crafting Combinator settings back to, say, update every 30 seconds. That way we won't swap recipes constantly and overshoot our targets. Uh, it's more of a problem if we're not using static requester chests. Uh, if we're using the, uh, what are they called, Re Recipe Combinator to set requests on requester chests. 
uh, if the recipe is changing all the time, it's much worse. Uh, but yeah, this is looking pretty good. It is going to take the bots a little while to clear out all of this stuff from the old system. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, like where this is going. I think I do actually prefer the smaller chests, just because we can have all of this storage super close. Um, bots are exponentially faster than anything else, if they have incredibly short travel distances, uh, and then they drop off dramatically. So yeah, this, as long as we don't run out of space for having every possible ingredient that we could need. Uh, oh, that's something I hadn't thought of. If we do this prerequisite system, some of the time is going to be spent... How do we end up with two of these? Uh, some of the time is going to be spent with a few idle machines when we've actually still got lots of stuff to craft um, in the last period before we, or period or two before we get all of our prerequisites up to count. Uh, but that's probably fine. Let's make sure we can see... I mean, I can always mouse over this to see what we're trying to craft. We're always trying to make 200 iron sticks. I guess we haven't filled all of these chests yet, but we have. In fact, there's an extra 18. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I think when we have a lot of bots in motion... I'd need to be a lot more aggressive with setting lower requests if we don't want this to be oversupplied. Hmm. This is making me lean more towards uh, we need to have a giant request a chest in the middle. So we have a lot. We have four times less. Uh, but we have a quarter as much uh, wasted stacks if bots provide more than one stack. How's our science doing? It has stopped? Question mark? Uh, it has stopped. What are we missing? Iron? We're out of iron. Okay. I guess it's just as well we've built this as is for now. Yeah, so until we have another hundred gears, it's going to keep doing this. So it's not, it's going to keep doing all of these recipes as opposed to all of these recipes. I think overall it's still probably going to be better. It's already overshot. Everything but cogs. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's give it a helping hand. It seems like it's not counting... the iron gears in, as it being in the network immediately. Or maybe... we still have requests? Uh, there we go. We still had requests for iron gears. That's why. Well, that makes sense. Uh, the inputs for this aren't delayed by 30 seconds. It's only the crafting combinators. So I don't know why this is so steady on 
Requesting a hundred ears. There's myself and there's four requester chests. And they've already got the gears. Oh, now it's decreasing. Why was it at a steady 100 until it's got this far? I don't know if I understand that. Burgers and fries, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so we're down to 17 more gears to go, and then once that is hit, on the next refresh, uh, it should start to make all of these. Fantastic. And that'll happen within 30 seconds. Maybe I should make the update more like 10 seconds. I don't know, there are some very slow recipes, though. If we want this to make, like, uh, a cargo rocket silo, for example, or what's that one that takes a minute? A locomotive takes a minute in this mod set. Okay, so it is busted. We're not passing through... Wait, disabled? It's only one of these combinators that was disabled. Uh, I did something wrong with the wiring here. So all of these go to P greater than zero. That's correct. All of these on the red wire go to this one. Times negative one. That's correct. And on the green wire they go to here. Is it this part that's wrong? I don't think so. We're subtracting everything we've got from everything we're trying to make, which is... Maybe that should just go straight to here with a, like, a red wire, so these don't cross each other. The signals don't look any different, though. Uh, and after the P greater than zero output, everything, negative P, this goes to the anything greater than zero. Yeah, I don't see what's different here. Why we're not trying to make, uh, assembly machine, uh, sorry, constant, uh, inserters, for example, and assembly machines. So we're doing negative of all this stuff we're trying to make. Oh, do we not have all that? If anything, sorry, if everything greater than zero output P, we've got negatives here. Did I do that one? Everything greater than zero. Oh, this is connected. Okay. This should be connected to the robot network as well. Well, there's your problem. So we're doing negatives of what's in the robot network, positives of... Oh, no that, no, that should be positive of what's in the robot network. Um, connect that there directly. So positive what's in the robot network. That can go through here, actually. With uh, greater than zero. Negative of what we're trying to make with the prereqs. If everything greater than zero, put 1p. And... Uh, it looks like everything is in fact greater than zero, except for iron gears, still. Why are we still making iron gears? Uh, 
And why is there no iron plate here? Do you have a mod allowing circuit driving recipes? Yes, it is called Crafting Combinator. There is a surplus of 100 bars slash gears on the active provider chests. Uh, yeah, I think those count as being in the robot network, though. I'll double check. We'll, we'll make a little robot network down here. Active provider chest. Uh, anything in your player trash slots as well also counts as being in the robot network. And we're going to put three active providers in here. And we will read from the robot network. It tells us there's three active provider chests. So... Not sure what's going on there. And I'm not sure how it always... Uh, I guess that makes sense. Or does it? Maybe I messed this up earlier. No, it was working before. Uh, I shouldn't assume anything. The logic could be busted here and here. So let's go over it again. Positive numbers for prerequisites. Uh, those go into the anything. And they're not compared to the robot. Yes, they are. Robot network times negative one. So if we have more than a prerequisite of something... Uh, like, if we have more than a hundred iron gear weight in the robot network, we've got zero still. So it is going somewhere. I'm actually just kind of shocked it's struggling on iron gear this much. I did say that you probably shouldn't do intermediate products in the auto crafter, but I'm actually a bit astounded at the severity of it. Although it doesn't help that our bots are not catching up yet. They're still emptying all these other chests. And they treat active providers as, like, high priority, I think. And we just straight up don't have that much iron, I suppose. That would probably help. Let's go bring some iron. And we'll have a look at what kind of effect that has. Okay, iron plate. Yeah, that might help. Just a little bit. We're still trying to make pipe. I'm only aiming for a hundred pipe. And I don't even have pipes in the requester chest yet. Although I should. 62... Uh, we have... S we have hundreds of pipe, apparently. Yeah, we have 800 pipe. So what's going on here? Read logistic network contents. Each greater than zero output each. That includes 800 pipe. Uh, times negative one, that goes to here. So we've got negative... Negative pipe. We shouldn't be trying to make pipe. But we are. Oh, I see. I think I see what's happening. Alright, let's scrap the free rack thing for now. I'll have a rethink of that. Uh, let's just disconnect this. Disconnect this. 
I, I might have to rethink that from scratch. I don't know if I just copied it badly or if there was an error in this that I didn't uh, have the occasion to realize before. Um, but suffice to say, it looks like that'll make pipe indefinitely. Um, let's just copy this over here for now. And I'll get rid of these extra wires. And we'll just use this as our crafting list for the moment. Alright. 